This is a special presentation from News Channel Nebraska. This broadcast is presented by Currency. Does your business need financing for equipment, trucks, or trailers? Visit GoCurrency.com. And by Liberty First Credit Union. Banking with purpose. Find out more at LibertyFirstCU.com. And welcome to Lincoln, Nebraska, Thursday night football week seven edition on NCN here in the capital city as Lincoln Southwest host South Sioux City. This matchup brought to you by NPPD, always there when you need them. Brandon Axmit, Jack Mitchell, and Josh Lill with you for all of the action. Jack, unlike last week, this is football weather. How are we feeling? We're not sweating all over the place. The crew can't smell me. It's great. And I'm excited because I think we're gonna have a good game tonight. Although it's kind of a study in contrast, very different records. South Sioux comes in at five and one, and you got Southwest that comes in at two and four. The schedule difficulty has been a little bit different. South Sioux's a very experienced team. Southwest a pretty young team. So I'm excited to see. I think in the end, we're getting a really good game tonight though. You mentioned the record discrepancy. You look at the teams they played, South Sioux City's first game, four, first four games rather, combined record by those teams, one and 23. Southwest on the flip side, 13 and 10. So that kind of highlights the um, difference in schedule and the records. Uh, what are you expecting to see between these two teams, South Sioux City? They're pretty good at running the ball. Yeah, they're gonna run the ball. We're gonna talk a little bit about their star running the ball, but both these teams are kind of gonna go a little bit 50-50 run pass. Southwest has their second string quarterback in tonight. And so that may end up that you've got a little bit more lean on the run for Southwest. But this is a big game, I think, especially for South Sioux City. They're the they're in the top wild card kind of top ten or so with wild cards. They could put themselves in playoff position if they could get this win tonight. We're about 10 minutes to kick here in Lincoln. Stay with us. We'll be talking key players when we return here at Seacrest Field in Lincoln. The pregame show is brought to you by Columbus Motor Company, where you'll find one low price, plain and simple always. And by Custom Sports. Check them out at customsportsco.com. Does your business need quick, competitive financing for heavy machinery, trucks, or other equipment? Currency is here to help. Whether you're financing construction equipment, farm equipment, trucks, trailers, or any other big ticket item, Currency will automatically find the best rates. Currency facilitates loans for up to $500,000 with repayment terms up to 72 months. It's fast, easy, and free to use. Visit GoCurrency.com and apply today. Welcome back. We're talking key players. We mentioned the running game before the break, so we're going to talk about running backs, Jack. First off, for Lincoln Southwest, going with the senior, Tanner Novosad has over 400 yards on the ground, and he is that elusive, I was going to say Barry Sanders style-ish, but he, he makes defenders miss. That's yeah. what his, his, his strength is. Yeah, and like I said, I think, you know, with Manning in a quarterback tonight, who I think the coaching staff is very confident in his capability, I think you're going to maybe lean on Novacek early, especially with the experience. Plus, he's got a lot of yards per carry. They've used him a little bit sparingly, given what he's done. I think tonight his workloads are going to be a little bit bigger. While well, Novasad is the elusive runner, you go to the flip side, Class A's leading rusher for South Sioux City in Tony Palmer. That rare and very good combination of speed and strength. Jack, nearly 1,200 yards and 18 touchdowns. This guy's a monster. He is putting up some video game numbers, and I'm just excited to see him tonight. I'm excited for him to maybe get some attention around the state tonight and see what he can do against Southwest. It's, I'm very excited to see Palmer. We're getting closer to kick here in Lincoln. Stay with us. Josh Lill will be talking to both head coaches when we return. NCN Sports is sponsored by Husker Rehab, treating the cause of the pain, not just the symptoms. Columbus Motor Company, where you'll find one low price, plain and simple, always. And by Claybaugh Pharmacy, your locally owned. Back on the pregame show, I have head coach of the Lincoln Southwest Silverhawks, Grant Trainowitz. Coach, your starting quarterback is down tonight. How will you respond? Uh, you know, we got Ryan Manning taking snaps tonight, and, you know, he's a guy who, who was in the thick of the starting race all summer long and in fall camp. So he's been doing a great job staying prepared, and he'll be just fine tonight. How has Ryan stayed prepared as this is uh, an unpredictable situation? It is, uh, but, you know, he's a, a very smart kid for his age, wise beyond his years. So 
you know, he, he prepares every week like he's the starter. Because, you know, he's one play away from starting if Broxton goes down, and tonight he's going to get a shot. Coach, on the other sideline, you have the leading rusher in Class A and arguably the best running back in Class A. Uh, how do you plan to stop him? It's got to be a team effort. Uh, it, it's not just going to be one guy. It's got to be everybody doing their job and, and rallying to the ball and, and playing with passion to corral him tonight. And speaking of playing with passion, it's not only senior night, it's homecoming night as well for you guys. Uh, what was your message to the team before you guys took the field? Uh, no different than really other week. Um, we talk a lot about controlling the things we control, and, you know, we don't necessarily control that senior night or homecoming. We just play as hard as we can every play, and whatever happens, happens. Coach, thank you so much for your time, and uh, good luck the rest of the way. Appreciate it. Thank you. Stay tuned for this matchup here at Seacrest Sports Complex, the Lincoln Southwest Silver Hawks. Take on the South Sioux City Cardinals here on Senior Night. NCN Sports is sponsored by Husker Rehab, treating the cause of the pain, not just the symptoms. Columbus Motor Company, where you'll find one low price, plain and simple, always. And by Claybaugh Pharmacy, your locally owned hometown pharmacy. It's the season. <laughs> The excitement of going to sporting events, sitting in the bleachers, rooting for the neighbor kid that mowed your lawn, delivered papers, or played a few pranks in the neighborhood. The first stop, of course, though, is your local Speedy Mart convenience store. Fuel for the journey. Speedy Mart, your area store with Nebraska roots and community ties. No matter if it's a win or a loss, Speedy Mart can make you feel better before or after the game. It's the pregame show. I'm Josh Lowe alongside head coach of the South Sioux City Cardinals, Jackson Dickerson. Jackson, your team has been off to a great start, 5-1. and one. After only two wins last year, what has your team done to make that improvement? A lot of it's in our, in our locker room. Our, our culture is a lot better this year. Uh, we've got a lot more guys that are bought in, and I think that starts with our leadership, uh, both in our junior class and our senior class. We've got a lot of leaders who are doing the right things on a daily basis, and They've kind of taken charge and taken that culture over and gotten the guys to buy in. And I think that's a big reason as to why you see the change from last year to this year. And part of taking that culture over is you arguably have the best running back in Class A. What have you done and what has he done to put his name into that status? You know, he's, he's a workhorse. He's a guy who shows up all winter long, all spring long, all summer long, and puts a lot of work in in the offseason. Uh, and, and there's no discrediting that. He, he's a great player, and, and that's kind of showing the work that he's put in this season. Uh, you know, you also have to give credit to the offensive line, too. They've done an excellent job all year of, of picking up blocks and doing things the right way. And, again, that's been a big part of his success, too. So those, those five guys up front and then our receivers on the outside have done an excellent job blocking. But, you know, Tony is, is someone who has really put in the work, and it, it's showing, and I'm proud of him and, and just grateful to have him on our vault club. Uh, how hard did your offensive line work in the offseason to develop that rapport? Same thing, you know, th those guys spend a lot of time in the weight room this summer. We, we go at 6 a.m. and those guys get up, they get in the weight room, and uh, we're starting to see the benefits of that a little bit here, and, you know, it's just great to see. Coach, lastly, you have a Class A matchup against Lincoln Southwest tonight. Uh, what do you expect from Southwest? You know, they're a, a high-quality ball club. They've played a very difficult schedule, and uh, we're expecting them to get out and go because they've got a lot of athletes on their team and you know we haven't seen a whole lot of teams that have so many versatile guys on their team like Lincoln Southwest does so you know it's going to be a challenge especially defensively but we're looking forward to it and excited for the opportunity to get the um, get to play them. Coach thank you again so much for your time uh, good luck tonight. Appreciate it. Stay tuned for the rest of the pregame show. A new year. A fresh start. A resolution to grow more. Gain more, give more. The process is the same. Plant, grow, harvest. But the way you do it is always evolving. And so are we. Aurora Cooperative. Grow, gain, give. Aurora and you. After 77 years of serving Lincoln, what else is there to say other than thank you? making our family-owned business part of your family. Everyday life and style are what LG appliances are designed for. During Schaefer's 77th anniversary, you can take advantage of LG rebates, free local delivery, and up to 36 months interest-free financing to improve your family's lifestyle with LG. Schaefer's, your local family-owned tradition for 77 years.
And welcome back to Seacrest Field. We're less than three minutes to kick. Homecoming in senior night for Lincoln Southwest. Let's jump right in and take a look at our school spotlight brought to you by Currency. First off for the home team, City of Lincoln nearing that 300,000 population, Southwest in the Southwest part of the city, enrollment 1,581. They are the Silver Hawks, came into existence in 20, or 2003 rather, and Jack, they have one state championship appearance, runners up in 05. Yeah, uh, the, the early years were good for Lincoln Southwest in, in a lot of sports, and now it's funny, they're uh, no longer the new kids on the block. Lincoln's opened up two more high schools, and now they're, look back, and they're 20 years old here at this point, but uh, been, a, been a good football program. Struggled a little bit early this year, but they've got a young team. It'll be interesting to see how they kind of finish the schedule here this year. South Sioux City making the trip from the northeast portion of the state in Dakota County. Enrollment, 839. They've fluctuated between Class B and A, one of the smaller schools in Class A. They have seven state playoff appearances, Jack, the last being in 2012. A real wow. opportunity to snap that streak here this season. Yeah, and that's just what I said in our uh, in our open here, Brandon, is is that they've, they're at a spot right now in the wild card points. You know, we talked about their schedule, and it, it, it may not be great at this point, but it's put them in a position in the wild card points where they could be in a fortuitous position. This game tonight would be huge for that if they could pull this one off. And that is your school spotlight brought to you by Currency. Does your business need financing for equipment, trucks, or trailers? All you need is Currency. Visit GoCurrency.com for more. Let's take a look at our starting lineups here as Southwest will be kicking off to South Sioux City. There is that offense with the backup quarterback, Ryan Manning, getting the start. Novasad, the leading rusher on this team, but you also have Kale Hen as a very capable running back as well, and some very good receivers in Crawford, Carpenter, and Semrad. Yeah, absolutely. It'll be interesting to see Manning's real first extensive action this season. And you got the Lincoln Southwest defense here uh, showing there. Trent Buda, a guy to watch there, number four, the outside linebacker. But again, a, a young team, but a lot of talent right now on this team. And I think one that's going to develop throughout the year. Buda, the leading tackler with 51. Let's go take a look now at South Sioux City. We talked a lot about Tony Palmer, but DJ Helms at the quarterback spot. He will also lower his shoulder and run over people. He has 230 yards rushing, averaging seven per carry, but he's 6'2", 220. He's wow. a big guy. Yeah, and we'll show the defense here, and you'll see a lot of the same names on the defense. There's a lot of guys, Brandon, who play both ways on this team. Brock Anderson, the lone defensive player that doesn't also play on wow. offense for this South Sioux City unit. DJ Helms, the quarterback I mentioned, he's also the leading tackler with 11 tackles for loss. At defensive end, by the way. <laughs> how, many, how many quarterbacks in college or the NFL would you put at defensive end? Cam Newton, maybe? That's no a play. very there, unique list. There are not too many. <laughs> and we are officially underway here in Lincoln. Glad that you're with us. Ooh. Right at 7 o'clock, not much there for South Sioux City. It is 64 degrees and clear here in East Lincoln. Beautiful. Boy, last two, last two Thursdays we've been here for a couple of Lincoln East games, and it was, uh, I'm pretty sure we were in the 90s. Pretty sure we're 30 degrees down from where we were in those two games, and there's a lot of fans and a lot of players and a lot of News Channel Nebraska play-by-play -play and color guys who are very happy about that tonight. It, Camera operators and as camera well. operators and crew, <laughs> cheerleaders. Everyone wins. Cheerleaders, marching band, met parents, uh, all of it. So the Cardinals starting on their own 18, and they will look to throw. Ooh. And you had Helms rolling out, incomplete on first down. My first look at Helms out of the shotgun, and yeah, I can see how he runs over some people. Big guy there, uh, big guy at quarterback. I'm so I'm so interested to see this South Sioux City team. Like you said, uh, it's it's just a team I haven't seen play in A much because they haven't been in A for a while. As you said, they've kind of gone back and forth, but I just haven't had a good chance to see this team watching a lot of A games here in Lincoln. Mentioned the fact the Cardinals were two and seven last year as Palmer gets his first carry of many. They were all young last year. Now nine returning starters from that two and seven team, which is a big reason why they're seeing the success this year and now sitting at five and one. Yeah, absolutely. And Palmer, by the way, talking about, you know, he's a junior, but 
He's 195 at running back. And, you know, you're talking about NFL college football running back. You might not say that's that big. But in high school, um, yeah, it, it, it is. And when he gets all that moving, uh, I'm, he's a force, uh, uh, from at least from his, what, what, what his stats have said so far this year. Again, Palmer, the leading rusher in Class A, just shy of 1,200, second in the entire state of Nebraska as a second pass sails over the Cardinal receiver. And that'll be a three and out for the South Sioux City offense. Couple of passes on that drive, you know, I, I think might have been there. Uh, just, just, just a little, I don't know, inaccuracy on the run a little bit there. And uh, DJ Helms could not make those completions. Uh, but they're going to put Southwest in some pretty good field position here if all goes well with this punt return. Hunt is away. Almost blocked. Just barely. It Good went roll. high, but yet to your point, it did get a decent roll. All down. I believe that was uh, the punter there was Adrian Curio, offensive lineman, defensive lineman. <laughs> We're talking about doing everything on this team, and uh, it looks like a lot of the guys do that. So, Well, there is the discrepancy. You look at the roster, and... The amount of players on Southwest as opposed to South Sioux yeah. City. You can see it on the sidelines. I mean, the visual here. You'll probably get it on some of the wider shots that we've got. Hand off to Nova Sod. Oof. And he picks up Boy. four. He might, might have had three or four yards. Kind of turned the brakes on there and thought he was going to do a cutback. But he just pounds forward. I think he's got maybe a six, seven yard gain with that one. And there, as you look at the shot there, number six, as, as I was saying, there's DJ Helms, the quarterback for South Sioux City, lining up at that left defensive end position. And he's someone who disrupts things. As mentioned, 11 tackles for a loss, a team high. You have the shovel pass. And room to get to the edge for McGovern. Flag down. And yep, there's laundry right where McGovern ran from. And looks like it will certainly be against the Silverhawks. So as we've alluded to before, Manning, who's the quarterback for Southwest, has not been the normal starter this year. They've, he's a sophomore, and you might think that's a pretty young starter in a substitute position. Well, the actual starter is a freshman in Broxton Tepley, who's been starting this year. He got banged up a little bit last week, and so Manning's getting his first chance this year. But uh, I know the coaching staff has a lot of confidence in his ability, too. First throw, and it's a completion out wide. Close to a first down, caught or catch made rather by Griffin Semrad. And they give it to him, 14 yard pickup. Down. Nice pass, they just had a bunch of cushion there on the left side, good identification by the quarterback. Hey, get the ball out there, get the ball on a rope out there and see if you can make him miss some tackles there. Got a big gainer off that. First and 10, ball on the South Sioux City 42. Opening drive of the game for the Silverhawks. Back to the air and back to Semrad, who has space to Ooh. work with. Cutting it back inside, and that's a gain of 22. Yeah, again, once again, they're giving those wide receivers a little bit of cushion, so they're just saying, hey, we got guys that we think are fast. Uh, faster than the defense is going to be, so we're going to get it to them in some space, allow them to make some plays, and so far that's been a good formula for the Lincoln Southwest offense. And it sets Manning up to make some nice early, uh, fairly fairly uh, easy level passes here at this point as he kind of gets into this, the rhythm of the game. Hand off to Ashton Trout. There's 10 more. This Silverhawk offense is humming. Moving quick, great rhythm from Lincoln Southwest. And you, you want to punch it in now here in the red zone. Might be kind of might have to kind of adjust a little bit what you're doing as you've been counting on those wide receivers in space and everything's going to be pushed up just a little bit. But I can't imagine the Southwest coaching staff could be a whole lot more happy with really how this entire drive has gone here. They'll tighten it up here, go under center. Novasad bouncing it out. 
Pickup of five, it'll be. No first down, or no second and five, excuse me. Second and goal to go from the five. We'll see if they kind of keep pounding it here up up the middle here and uh, give it to give it to Novasad and maybe let him kind of bounce one outside as South Sioux City is they've got to spread out a bit. Nope, gonna pass it. Ooh. And the slant catch made. Nope. Trent Buddha just short. But Manning so far a perfect three for three. That was a well designed play. Just just a little short. Actually, good job by Southwest there. Getting there, knowing where the goal line was and, and making the tackle on Buda. So now Southwest, let's see if they go tight and just pound it up the middle here. It's third and goal to go. I might just sneak it here if I'm Lincoln Southwest. Fullback. <laughs> right up the middle, Thomas Worcester. His second touchdown of the season. The first of the game, and Lincoln Southwest strikes first. Oh, you got to love that little fullback play when you're in Nebraska. It's hard not to get a little bit nostalgic about everything when you see the fullback score a touchdown there. Nice drive by Southwest uh, right down there. G great play calling, good pace. Manning looked good back there, looked very comfortable with the offense. Great sign for Southwest to start this game. Seven nothing Silverhawks here in Lincoln, 717 to play in the opening quarter. Stay with us, you're watching Thursday Night Football on News Channel Nebraska. What does farming mean to you? For most, it's hard work, dedication, and livelihood. Unfortunately, that also comes with risk. At Nebraska Crop Insurance in Beatrice, they know the nonstop dedication involved to keep your family protected from that risk and ensure their livelihood. Not only do they know everything about the coverage you need, they're also farmers themselves. So protect what means the most to you with the agent who knows what it means to be a farmer. Nebraska Crop Insurance, 615 Dorsey Street in Beatrice. NCN Sports is brought to you by Currency. Visit GoCurrency.com for details. By Central Nebraska Orthopedics, dedicated to the motion of life. And by Region 4 Behavioral Health, quality mental health and substance abuse services. Welcome back, Brandon Axmit, Jack Mitchell, Josh Lill with you on News Channel Nebraska and very impressive opening drive for the Silverhawks, Jack. Yeah, definitely. Like I said, uh, Manning, you wouldn't have been able to tell had you uh, not heard that he hadn't been their normal starter this year. Ran that ran that very officially. Is that kick going to go out of bounds? That'll help South Sioux City get a little bit better starting position here. But yeah, I thought Manning uh, looked really good there and mixed it up a little bit with the play calling. Got their speed guys out in space. And South Sioux City giving them a little bit of a cushion. Big drive here, uh, too, because obviously South Sioux City, is, they're, they're kind of a 50-50 pass run team. But Palmer is obviously their best weapon. He's the leading rusher in Class A. You don't want to get in a place where you feel like you can't use him or they're not going to expect that he is a threat. And that's something that South Sioux City is going to want to do. So essential here, keep the ball for a while. At worst, flip the field, put Southwest back a little bit here. But get a chance for Palmer to get going. I really want to see this guy uh, and uh, see what he can do against the Southwest defense. Opening drive for the Cardinals was a three and out. This time, Helms will keep it. Picks up a couple. Yeah, I think that was kind of going to be a zone read play action type situation, and it didn't have the intended deception on it because snap was high, couldn't, couldn't hand it off, couldn't fake the handoff, and so Helms had to just kind of go around, around the end and get what he could on that one and ended up getting three for second and seven. You have trips to the near side here for South Sioux City. Another fairly high snap, and somehow Palmer wow. gets out of trouble and turns what looked like a tackle for loss into a gain. I can't believe that wasn't a loss of five yards on that play. And that's two high snaps in a row there uh, that Helms had to bring down, and that play did not 
It did not look pretty whatsoever. Uh, and kind of a just a horizontal pitch there at that point. And Palmer somehow, and you see a little bit of by, about why he's been able to have these gaudy yard totals so far this year, just made that one little move, got upfield, and got him in a third and short situation now. Still out of the shotgun. So oh. Rock showing pressure in the... Oh. <laughs> a little bit too giddy there. Uh, uh, 73 there for uh, Southwest, uh, Max Vredenberg. He didn't even sell it that he got. I mean, at least, at least point, right? <laughs> was it me? At least, uh, I mean, it, he made a he made a very easy. Oh, and now he's gonna now he's gonna talk to the coaches here a little bit here, which is all sure gonna be a very fun experience as he comes off the field. Big play there though for South Sioux City. That's exactly what we were talking about. Getting a first down, getting across midfield, and at least playing a little bit of a field position game here. Palmer lowers the shoulder. There's three more on first down. Yeah, nice job, though, by the Southwest defensive front there. Didn't let Palmer get free at all. He just kind of plowed up in there and got a bit of a push from that offensive line. But uh, you're, you know, you're worried about Palmer really getting it out into space and seeing what he can do there. So a good job by that. Uh, that front line of Lincoln Southwest. Halfway through this first quarter, which is brought to you by John Henry's, our family serving yours. John Henry, our first quarter sponsor here on News Channel Nebraska. Helms to pass. Pop and pass. Complete no. first down and then some. Andrew Ortiz. And to your point, Jack, yeah, everyone came through and there was space for Ortiz to make the play. Yeah. Uh, nice little, nice little look off. Everybody had their their eyes on Palmer, and Helms looked over to get that defense looking just a little bit. Did the pop pass there to Ortiz, and uh, nice little play here. Th that was a good snap, but <laughs> South South Sioux City depends on the timing on a lot of these plays. And you get a snap that's just a little bit high. Helms has to jump a bit. It it can completely when you got that play action situation and using your back, your running back out of the backfield as a receiver or in play action, it can really change up the timing of those plays. So they got to make sure they get those center quarterback snaps perfected. High one again. Still powering right up the middle, though, and it'll be enough to make this a second and short. It's like they'll give him seven. I mean, just kind of a – just kind of a – Power, I mean, up the middle, it wasn't particularly spectacular, but that was a seven-yard run after all, is, uh, after all is said and done from Palmer there. It's been a really good bounce-back drive so far from South Sioux City. Got to, got to make sure they get some points here. Uh, again, I, don't, I think they really don't want to get by as Southwest is really... Really crowding the line, but it looks like we've got a wide receiver maybe who jumped here. Number three. Unfortunately, that's the junior, Lucas Solzbeck. So this will be coming back five. Now second down and eight. And I'm sure everybody who has had a wide receiver coach in their life at a high school or any other level has had that coach say to you, the wide receiver should never, ever, ever get a false start because you shouldn't even be, shouldn't even be listening. You should be looking at that ball basically, um, at the outside. So, tough one there for South Sioux. Let's see what they can do here. Palmer again. He has room to run. Man. That makes it third and about one. What a nice luxury to have to be able to pick up seven yards on the ground like that. What a nice luxury to have for South Sioux City. And credit to that offensive line, too. A lot of these guys, as you said, on that offensive line are playing on the defensive line, too. They haven't sat down. They're really not going to sit down today in this game, which is not unusual in high school football, but Class A a little bit more so. A little fumble there at the end there. He got it back. And it ends up being four yards for Palmer. Another first down. We mentioned the fact in our open. Just shy of 1,200 yards. Palmer leading all of Class A's rushers. Just a junior. He's starting, though, to generate that buzz around him. D2 or D1 coaches starting to reach out. Coach Dickerson says North Dakota State and the Huskers really? starting to Interesting. gain and notice attention about what he's doing in South Sioux City what as there is a ball over the top. 
Wow. And the Cardinals strike. Catch made by Tate Albertson. 25 yards, and the Cardinals are on the board. How about DJ Helms? He's been throwing these little little backfield passes to Palmer. He's doing a little pop pass to the tight end. And then all of a sudden, he puts that one on a rope. To not, not badly covered in that one. What a great throw. And South Sioux City... I think that that's called using the run to set up the pass there, Brandon. That's exactly what that was. Impressive play by Helms and the uh, South Sioux City offense. They answer the Silver Hawks. It's the third receiving touchdown for Albertson. The Cardinals take a timeout here before the extra point. So we'll stay here. But I don't know. Think they're talking about going for two, or maybe just a personnel issue. I don't know. It was it was South Sioux, South Sioux City called the timeout. Yeah, I, don't, I feel like we don't need to have a discussion. We either have a policy: we're going for two, or we're not going for two. If we score a touchdown in the first quarter, we're Oregon, or we're not Oregon here with this thing, or probably. <laughs> Maybe some high school teams that don't have kickers that are particularly reliable where you're going for two in this point. So, yeah, might have been a might have been a personnel thing. As mentioned, it's Adrian Curio, the sophomore lineman who's their kicker, and the kicking unit is still out there. If it were me, I'd just let him run it. <laughs> snap it, direct snap to the kicker and let that guy run over some people. But it was a pretty, pretty extra. I mean, as pretty as an extra point can be, I guess. It was pretty. He's down the middle. We're tied 7 7, 3 13 to play here in the first. You're watching high school football on News Channel Nebraska. Does your business need quick, competitive financing for heavy machinery, trucks, or other equipment? Currency is here to help. Whether you're financing construction equipment, farm equipment, trucks, trailers, or any other big ticket item, Currency will automatically find the best rates. Currency facilitates loans for up to $500,000 with repayment terms up to 72 months. It's fast, easy, and free to use. Visit GoCurrency.com and apply today. And welcome back here to Seacrest Field. Brandon Axmith, Jack Mitchell, and we talked about it before the break, Jack. Uh, three and out for the Cardinals on that opening drive, but certainly much better results the second time they have the ball. Really good answer, and, and the key to that drive was, again, though that, that running game with Palmer, being able to pick up when you needed it, uh, five, six, seven, seven yards up the middle. And that's going to challenge Southwest. They're going to – they had they had a – time or two they had a decent stop but if Palmer's going to be able to put up those kind of average runs here that's going to be an issue tonight for Southwest as they got a pretty nice kick return going here so a lot of juking Vin McGovern ends up getting near the 40 on that return all right back to Southwest with the ball and you know, both of these coaches I know told you, Brandon, they're kind of they kind of think of themselves as 50-50 run pass teams, and 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 I'm not saying that isn't true by any means, but they're still very different style teams in in those first drives that we've seen here. Southwest looks like they're going with the bigger back here, and we'll see what Manning does here. Maybe have him a little bit more throwing downfield. Novasad hit, not yep. much there. So Novasad, one of the uh, one of the seniors on this team, boy, they lost a, they lost a lot from last year's team. Uh, the returning starter, something like uh, something like three on both sides of the ball, not a lot. Where South Sioux City, just the op opposite in terms of experience. They got nine guys back on both sides of the ball, and there's your quarterback slash defensive end making a play. Helms tackle for a loss, number twelve on the season. Not wow. allowing Novasan to go anywhere, making it third and 11. It's what you do after you throw a, throw a strike touchdown on the other end of the field, make a tackle for loss, and now, what? 
Let's see what Manning can do downfield. Southwest has the receivers here. They've got some talent at receiver. It's a young core, but they definitely have some talent. I wonder if they'll try and take advantage together. Or short one built in. He's going to have to break some tackles, though. Oh! Oh! And oh. Novasad oh. does that and then some. Oh, oh my goodness! That was supposed to be your guy who makes defenders miss. Novasad with the power. He takes it 62 yards. That was the truck stick. That was the guy who you said kind of had that Barry Sanders style. Uh, that was the Derrick Henry style on that one. My goodness. He looked like he was dead to rights there. I, I mean, you almost question why he even threw it at that point. But what do I know? And Osad right in there for the touchdown, and that's going to go on his that's going to go on his all-time highlight reel. I can promise you that right now. Get that, get that thing uploaded to the huddle page ASAP. Touchdown number four for Tanner Novasad. The Silverhawks retake the lead. 14-7 here in Lincoln. Stay with us. You're watching Thursday Night Football on News Channel Nebraska. At Zollner Ford, come and see our great selection of new Ford vehicles. Whether you're looking to buy new or you need a car serviced, it's our pleasure to assist you. Our online website makes shopping even easier. Browse our massive inventory of vehicles or schedule your next maintenance appointment. We even offer drop-off and pickup services. Stop by today or visit us online at zollnerofbeatrice.com. NCN Sports is brought to you by Currency. Visit GoCurrency.com for details. By Central Nebraska Orthopedics, dedicated to the motion of life. And by Region 4 Behavioral Health, quality mental health and substance abuse services. Welcome back to Seacrest Field. If you weren't awake prior to Tanner Novasad laying the boom ahead going 62 yards up the sideline. The Silverhawks are back in control. And Novasad's like, hey, you've been talking about the Class A's leading rusher who definitely is good and he's getting a seven yards and seven yards and seven yards. Well, I'm gonna get a big chunk and I'm gonna run somebody over on the way. South Sioux, uh oh, a little fumble there. Ends up being a touchback after everything. I still think South Sioux is in a in, in, in a position here where you just don't want to get down, you know, multiple multiple scores. I I, I think you want and, and, and maybe they'll continue to run run Palmer, but to have that ability to not say, hey, we got we're gonna have to we're gonna have to get multiple possessions here, multiple scores here, and always have Palmer as that as that option. And even to grind it out a little bit on some of these drives, I think is what they what they do best here. And Palmer gets to the corner. Give him five or six more. The, his runs that don't look that good. <laughs> You look down and you're like, well, six yards. I mean, six yards of carry, a lot of teams that would like that. But it's not, um, it's not necessarily aesthetically pleasing, <laughs> but he's, uh, that's, that's, how you, that's how you end up being the guy that uh, is leading in yards in the, in the uh, second in state, first in the class. We're gonna see what Brandon thinks, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I am, if they tell me to go and Three seconds, I'm ready. So Helms will keep it. Gets away from one tackler. Oh. The second, third, and fourth, not the same luck. Loss of two. Yeah, it gets a lot harder when you're getting two, three, four guys on you on there. And Helms kind of cut it back. He lost himself some more yardage. Would have been better if he had just gone there. And now we've got a third and 11. Get a chance to see Helms's arm, I think, again here. All 
All right, shotgun look here once again. Three wides. We got some Southwest is showing some blitz. There it is from the corner. Yep. And nowhere for Helms to go on third and 11. They'll have to punt as that concludes our opening quarter here from Lincoln. The hometown Silverhawks up 14-7 here on News Channel Nebraska. We'll be back. Does your business need quick, competitive financing for heavy machinery, trucks, or other equipment? Currency is here to help. Whether you're financing construction equipment, farm equipment, trucks, trailers, or any other big ticket item, Currency will automatically find the best rates. Currency facilitates loans for up to $500,000 with repayment terms up to 72 months. It's fast, easy, and free to use. Visit GoCurrency.com and apply today. At Zollner Ford, come and see our great selection of new Ford vehicles. Whether you're looking to buy new or you need a car serviced, it's our pleasure to assist you. Our online website makes shopping even easier. Browse our massive inventory of vehicles or schedule your next maintenance appointment. We even offer drop-off and pickup services. Stop by today or visit us online at zollnerofbeatrice.com. So something I've noticed here down on the sidelines with South Sioux City, the Cardinals, they have had snapping issues and it's revolved around center Brody Sims. When he hikes the ball to the quarterback in the shotgun formation, the ball is not spiraling. It's affecting the snap and delaying the play. Can the Cardinals fix these issues? Brandon, back to you. Thank you, Josh. And on cue, the high snap on the punt attempt and it's a safety. Wow. So unfortunately for the South Sioux City Cardinals, Josh's question, the answer there was right. a no. And it had come, those had come in obviously offensive situation there, but same thing on the, uh, on the punt there. And now Southwest not only gonna get those two points, take the 16-7 lead, uh, but they're gonna get the ball back here and get their offense on the field. So now this South Sioux City defense is, is gonna need to tighten up here get a stop they haven't been able to do that yet but the onus is going to be on them right now because you're in danger of getting that exact spot that I was talking about earlier where uh, where their offense is not going to have uh, quite as easily have that running option on the uh, on the on the table given that you're down 2 3 you know if they score here it'll be 23 to 7 if they score a touchdown here 23 to 7 and you're down uh, 2 plus two plus possessions at that point already in the second quarter of the game. So need a big stand here for the South Sioux defense. Glad you're with us on News Channel Nebraska Thursday night football, the first of three days of sports this week on NCN. Safety, or rather after the safety, the punt goes to McGovern and he's going up the sideline. One defender to beat and a touchdown saving tackle by Eric Moreno. That was uh, Finn McGovern there on the, uh, on the return. Impressive one there for Southwest and the South Sioux defense, <laughs> I don't know, the kick team seemed a little slow. Almost, it was such a line drive kick that it got down there, almost speed kicked the coverage a little bit on that thing, and that allowed McGovern to kind of pick the lane that he wanted to go in, uh, use his own speed, and set South, Southwest up in some really good position, and Manning and company come back out again and try and get 23 points on the board here fairly early in this game. Well, there's Novasad who had that 62-yard run not long ago. Gets a couple here on first down. You know, looks like we've got a timeout on the field here. All right, rewinding the clock here for Southwest second and eight. And I look look for 
at some point, I don't know if it'll be here. It's kind of a tight look here, but you got 11 at the top of the screen. Jackson Carpenter, that's a guy I think that at some point you'll, they'll take a shot to, maybe in an unexpected position here, but great blocking out front of this play. Swing pass to oh. Nova Sodden. Finally slammed down, but not before a, a big time gain. That was a convoy he had going down there. He didn't need to run anybody over. You can see here, watch watch here, number 30 for Southwest. Great job clearing it out. 44 got away there, and that for uh, South Sioux City is Andrew Ortiz. Made kind of a violent tackle there on that. Nova side goes down, and I bet we might see him with the ball here again. It's a 24-yard gain on the pass. Now he'll there take it, it, the final four in for the touchdown. Novasad finds Paydirt for the second time tonight. Novasad has got it tonight. He's looking really good. And as I said in our intro, you know, new quarterback in and, and got a big lead right now. I think Southwest is going to turn into more of a rushing team than we usually see them. Novasad coming in, averaging eight yards a carry, just not having the volume of carries really to put up the huge, huge yards numbers well he's going to get on that path tonight i think for lincoln southwest pat is good to make it 23 to 7. early on in the second the silver hawks in control stay with us you're watching thursday night football on news channel nebraska NCN Sports is brought to you by Schaefer's. We're more than just TVs and appliances. And by News Channel Nebraska. Follow us on X at NCN Sports for highlights, interviews, rankings, and more. Welcome back. Brandon Axman, Jack Mitchell, Josh Lil with you. Jack, a lot to be played still. It was 7-7 though. South Sioux City scored at the 3-13 mark. And the Silverhawks have gone on quite the run since in just over three minutes of game time. I guess five minutes of game time. Went from 7-7 yeah. to 23-7 pretty quickly. Scoring explosion here. And, and if you're Southwest, you've got to be happy right now. you got your sophomore quarterback in who is coming in for your freshman quarterback who's a little bit banged up right now. But incredibly efficient at this point with the offense. We've got a flag down here way from the far side of the field. May not even be able to see it on your screen there, but came for the ref referee standing right in front of the Lincoln Southwest sideline. Probably a holding or block in the back. Twenty-three seven your score on the Aurora Cooperative scoreboard. Go green with E15 and Phillip at your nearest A stop today. And Jack, you're correct. Hold against the Cardinals. Yeah. As good as the Southwest offense has looked so far, and this has been my first chance to see them in person. I've seen some highlights, I've seen some scores, but it I mean, it, it doesn't look like the team that I've seen, at least in terms of the scores. And um you know, and you know, they got a loss to Columbus earlier this year. They, p they played some really solid teams as well and and uh, do have a couple of wins. But, man, they've looked really efficient, really good so far. They have another penalty. Just a minute into our second quarter, which is brought to you by Steve Carper and the crew at O Street Carpet. Check out O Street Carpet at the intersection of 17th and O in Lincoln. O Street Carpet, our second quarter sponsor. If it's me, I'm saving the the draw them off side, draw them off side count for third down and three, or fourth down and three. Not first and ten, but it worked. It worked, and hey, take anything you can get right now uh, because South Sioux City needs a little bit of offense here. And Palmer, again, a huge Man. pickup. 
He runs That'll be hard. a first down. He runs hard, doesn't he? There, he's uh, he's got to play yet tonight, uh, I think, Brandon, where he's going to get loose and he's going to go a little way. Southwest has done a good job, a, a good job when they get in contact making those tackles on him. But still, it do, it's it's been happening. There you got a little touch there, but it's been happening six, seven, even 10, 12 yards down the field. That way Be interesting down. to see if South Sioux keeps going to him. That was a 16-yard pickup. Another near high snap. Palmer does make the initial defender miss. Give him three. Good job there by Thomas Worcester, who ended up scoring that last touchdown, the touchdown for Southwest as a fullback and listed as a tight end, but was playing a fullback. Makes a nice tackle there for Lincoln Southwest. He is playing both sides of the ball. Second down and seven, and there's oh, an exchange oh. issue. The ball is on the floor, and Whew. the Cardinals somehow got it back. And that's a credit to Adrian Curiel. Wow. Like he, I'm not totally sure what happened there. If, you, if it was a if, – if Helms was trying to pull that back from a fake – let's see if we can see on this highlight here. Oh, it's bobbled on the snap initially. Thought he had it, didn't. And heads up play there by your offensive lineman slash punter slash kicker. Make the recovery there. Now we got third and 16. Let's see if South Sioux City has a deep ball in them. Helms stepping up, avoiding the rush. He has an open receiver oh, and it's caught. Andrew Ortiz climbing the ladder. Southwest has not been keeping people deep. They're not worried. Of, they haven't been too worried about the deep. They're a couple of things on that play. Watch this blitz pick up here by 14 by Palmer. And kind of the stay behind the line. Oh, that was a great play all around for South Sioux City. And to get Ortiz back there behind the, uh, behind the deep line for Southwest. Set them up great. And so now they can go back to Palmer. Hey. Run the regular offense, do what they need to do, get those five, seven yards of carry and get it in the end zone and get one touchdown here. And you, it's still, a, it's not a one possession game, but we're right back kind of in the, in the thick of things. Helms keeping it himself, ushered out just past the 30 and goes down. I'd like to remind you that our halftime highlights are coming up during the halftime show. They're brought to you by Sarder Heyman Jewelers. Well, they'll make your jewelry dreams come true. Check out Sarder Heyman in Grand Island and, of course, in Lincoln. Going to add 15 yards to that run because uh, the momentum, I mean, it wasn't particularly violent, but the momentum there, Southwest, and they kind of kind of threw Helms down after he was already out of bounds, so he'll get 15 more yards. I will add, you might not have been able to see it, but a couple of the Southwest players on the sideline then came over to help Helms out. You'll see this here. Oh, a little, yeah. just a little, little unnecessary extra pu push there by Kale Han. It was, it was the taking the hands off, and then it was the little push there. You take the hands off, you put them up, right? He, he may even still fall down. Yep. That's no penalty, but it was, it was a very light push, but it was a 15-yard push. So that puts the Cardinals now on the 15. Just over eight remaining before half. Palmer gets the handoff, brought down at the 12. There it is. Another of those runs. Uh, only, only did get four on that one, only. If you get four yards every run, again, you're in good shape. You'll never see a fourth down in your life, if that's true. <laughs> Second down and six. And this would be much needed for the Cardinals if they're able to punch this in after Southwest has taken the momentum since late in the first quarter. Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, you've, it felt like it was on the verge of getting out of hand, and, and right away you got a potential 
14 game, it, which is a, a whole lot different there. Let's see what Palmer can do on the outside here. Trying to get to the edge and good pursuit from the Silverhawks. That was Buda and I believe also Grayson Smith in on the action. Yeah, good job. Good lateral pursuit there by Southwest. Good lateral speed. Palmer didn't really ever get that corner turned. Now we got a third and six. Uh, you know, I'm not sure if it's four down territory here. I'd sure think about it. I know it's only the second quarter, but you feel like the Southwest offense is going to put up some points tonight, and you kind of got to keep answering them with touchdowns instead of field goals. Play action here. Helms is hit as he throws, and it's picked off. Interception Finn McGovern, and he is in a foot race, and no one is going to catch him. A back-breaking pick six for the Silverhawks. Boy. Little pressure in there. He threw it in. You know, he, he threw it because he had he was going down right there, and, and he was just kind of avoiding the sack, but the coverage right there by Finn McGovern was was really good the entire play long. Had he not had, obviously had not a ball he's going to throw if he doesn't have somebody right in his face there, Helms, but he did, not McGovern did what he needed to do. Showed his speed there, and now Southwest really starting to extend this lead out at 29 to seven, about to make it 30 to seven. The PAT's good, 30 to seven Silverhawks at the near midway point of quarter number two. All Lincoln Southwest here on News Channel Nebraska. Stay with us. At Zollner Ford, come and see our great selection of new Ford vehicles. Whether you're looking to buy new or you need a car serviced, it's our pleasure to assist you. Our online website makes shopping even easier. Browse our massive inventory of vehicles or schedule your next maintenance appointment. We even offer drop-off and pickup services. Stop by today or visit us online at zollnerofbeatrice.com. Lincoln Southwest is continuing their beatdown of the South Sioux City Cardinals 30 to seven. And the latest is a pick six that, you know, it was Finn McGovern. He completely jumped, he jumped an outside route, but the thing that people got to talk about right now is Cole Erickson, the pressure that he put on the quarterback, allowing McGovern to jump that route. Now it's a 30 to seven lead, Brandon. Uh, how much more damage can the Silverhawks put on before halftime? Thanks, Josh, and the South Sioux City Cardinals are hoping Aunts. not much, but you have the onside kick. It just didn't go far enough. <laughs> it looks like, like Josh is just predicting okay. things. That was, uh, wow. Uh, interesting, uh, interesting time to pull that out after going up 30 to seven and putting it on film. Southwest does it. I think the flag is going to be because you had a touch before 10 yards. See, so it yeah, hits a foot right there. Well, and the officials it, are so look, this, a South Sioux City player kicked it, but I, and now the officials are conferencing. Yeah, I think it'll still be South Sioux City's ball. It hit a Southwest player prior to that. Okay, if that's the case, then it, yeah, and it so should be. So it would be. be down right there, and there would be a flag on Southwest for touching the ball. And Southwest has its defense out there right now. But boy, Lincoln Southwest really wanted to wanted to bury this South Sioux City team. It's senior night. It's homecoming for the Silverhawks. Here's the call. So, yep, illegal touching. You know, in this state, I've heard of some other onside kicks that may have been done with the lead that have gotten some scrutiny. I'm not saying that's happening here, but <laughs> interesting move there with Southwest. And, and maybe they're thinking, hey, we we're, we just want to get there. We think we get that running game out of this, which is which is you know what what South Sioux City's best best option is that we can really really take control of this thing. But didn't work. And there's a fumble again. 
Palmer just dropped it. And the Silverhawks recover. That's McLean Milius. Boy, that was a good snap. That was just on the on the quarterback running back exchange there. And now Southwest right back into action. We'll see what they do here. Well, stay tuned for our halftime show. It's brought to you by Columbus Community Hospital, where your health is their top priority. Play action here. And that's Hold, gonna be a hold. Holding, yep. And a pick, oh my goodness. Nearly a pick, as yeah. you mentioned by Brody Sims. <laughs> Manning acted almost as if it was some kind of a free play or something. It was pretty clearly a holding. And he, <laughs> the chance of a lifetime there for a pick. <laughs> Whew, the last three plays. A lot and going a, on. Wow, yeah, a lot going on is right. So there is the call holding against the Silverhawks. It was good pressure there on the left side from South Sioux City. I think it was I think it was Helms who got held there. Quarterback for South Sioux City who's frustrated now with two quick turnovers for that offense and was taking it out there and on his quarterback rush. Nova Saad with a lot of room again on the edge. He's down near midfield. Maybe he's trying to take over the Class A rushing lead tonight. <laughs> he's got a ways to go, so but. He only needs about 800 yards, but. Tonight? He's Have already got, nearing probably, 100. It'll probably be a record. Well, second quarter, so on pace for about 350. <laughs> Not, a, I mean, yeah, he's right now, okay, he has seven carries. For 82 yards, so okay. that's not a bad average. It feels like more. He also has that big reception that, for 24. Yeah, that one was a reception, that's right. And not too much there for Manning. This could be Southwest, uh, or excuse me, South Sioux City's first stop here on defense. Big third down play. And again, I mean, you know, 30 to seven. Doesn't look good on the scoreboard, but if you could somehow punch one in, you've got it at a technically a two possession game at halftime. Yeah. Coverage tonight is brought to you in part thanks to Zoner Ford Lincoln of Beatrice. As we're under six to play here before halftime, third down and six. Manning going deep and just not on the same page with Carpenter. That was the that was kind of like the play earlier where he did give it to Novasad and he looked like he looked like he was not going to have nearly enough room to get the first down and he ran somebody over. That time he decided to go deep to Carpenter, I believe, on that one. Pretty good coverage by South Sioux City and they forced a punt here did this defense for the first time. Well, a reminder that Lincoln High School Sports on News Channel Nebraska is presented by Liberty First Credit Union, banking with purpose. Find out more at libertyfirstcu.com. Also, our coverage tonight is presented by Currency. If your business needs help financing big ticket items, Currency is here to help. Visit gocurrency.com for details. Southwest is going. Oh, no, they're not. No, they're not. The punter they're in the green blended into the <laughs> field there. I mean, you, they did the onside kick not long ago. That's you don't true. Who knows what kind of tricks they have? Him. I shouldn't. I'm not assuming anything at this point. It is an advantage for green teams, though. A little more difficult to see here on this uh, seagrass grass, which, when I played, by the way, was very rarely green, or it might have been painted green, but it was not like the natural green that comes from uh, uh, what is it? Chlorophyll or photosynthesis, or sorry <laughs> now, if there are ag people out there watching this who getting, understand yes, that better, the than, science better than me. Of it. it was it was uh, it was sand. It was basically sand uh, because you had four teams who were playing on it every weekend, and it was whew, not a good playing surface back in the day. Glad the kids have a lot safer, better playing surface to be on now. Now we're doing the history. When was it that they put the turf in? I, that's a good question. I played 06, and we had turf then. Did you? I okay, that. and I, yeah. I, 
My, my senior year was 95, and that was the sand pit. So there's 11 years in between. The green sand pit, probably early, probably early 2000s. Flag on the play. And Do you see many? Uh, I mean, I guess obviously. I was going to say, but especially Class A, the bigger schools, is is still pretty even breakdown between turf and natural grass in the places that you're going to or not? So I'm going to have to count. Well, so first <laughs> off, our, our producers are telling us 99, their research tells us, is 99. when Seacrest got the turf. All right. Grand Island has turf. Kearney, they play at the yeah. UNK College. They have turf. Yeah. Um, where else have we been? The, Beatrice's turf. I think almost all the Omaha schools yep. have the, the Omaha schools have turf. I know um, Aurora and Ashland Greenwood are grass. Okay. That's class C. I believe oh my goodness, I believe Pius is still grass. I believe Pius is still grass. I could be wrong. I could go outside and turn around this. and might be able to see it. On the, on the drive home, I'll, I'll stop yes, there and, you go. and get out quick and yeah, confirm. Just put out a tweet. Aldrich Field, just a couple blocks from here. Someone can tweet at us if you know. And there's a completion there. Albertson with the reception. About an eight-yard pickup. About as open of a receiver as South Sioux City has had all night tonight. Helms got him the ball. Truck confirming, producers Tyler Lechner, Danny Alvarado, Aldrich Field at Pius is grass. Okay, I there thought so. Go. Good. I try by it every day, so I feel like I should, I should know that. It's my route to work. All right. Again, South Sioux, get a touchdown here, and things feel markedly different going into second half, despite some really unfortunate turnovers, special teams gaffes, those sorts of things. Ooh. And a flag coming in late from the near side. Not sh I didn't see where that was. Not sure. And we got it injured. Got a lot of things happening there. And that's, again, the lineman punter kicker there, Curiel, who's down. I believe this is Finn McGovern or Southeast. He made a great, great tackle here. There's a flag on the back side, too. And it looks like McGovern... See what the flag is. The eight C Curiel go down as much as he does for this South Sioux City team and not obviously a, a ton of depth for for the Cardinals. Penalty on South Sioux City declined and that'll bring up fourth down here. So Curiel is going off on his own on his own weight, so hopefully he'll be okay here. But if they're punting, they're going to have to find someone else to punt. It's a valid point for this. Which may impact their decision, to be honest. Fourth and two here. I, You know, you're deep in your own territory at this point, but heck, I mean, I'm giving it, I'm giving it to 14 and saying, hey, get us two yards. You don't go negative very often. Don't go negative here. Get us just a little bit. And it looks like they're going to do that. I mean, I think it makes sense at this point. South Sioux City still looking to the sidelines. Under second year head coach Jackson Dickerson, they're letting the clock wind down. Play clock is now at one. Timeout taken. So we'll take one as well. 3.58 to play here at Seacrest in half number one. All Lincoln Southwest here on NCN. Does your business need quick, competitive financing for heavy machinery, trucks, or other equipment? Currency is here to help. Whether you're financing construction equipment, farm equipment, trucks, trailers, or any other big ticket item, Currency will automatically find the best rates. Currency facilitates loans for up to $500,000 with repayment terms up to 72 months. It's fast, easy, and free to use. Visit GoCurrency.com and apply today. 
Fuel your journey by starting at a Speedy Mart store near you. From the small communities in Nebraska to the larger cities, the staff at Speedy Marts are ready to serve you with food, fuel, and rewards. Save five cents per gallon with the Fuel Your Journey fill up plus additional bonus savings. Download the app for mobile pay, offering customers the highest quality branded food and treats, fresh, ready, and convenient. Check out speedymart.com for locations and job opportunities. Welcome back. So timeout, fourth and two for South Sioux City, and the Cardinal offense is still on the field here. Thought they might have had a change of heart there and 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 kind of assess the situation, but they are actually going to go for it here. It's, it's got to be Palmer, I think I would think here at this point. He's he's now been on every side of Helms to his right, to his left, and now behind him as they've lined up for this. I don't think he got it. And no, it's not a even close. Leading rusher stuffed on That's fourth and two. Really, the first time he's been stuffed tonight too. For the most point, for the most part. I mean, Southwest had to know what was coming there. It was very little question, but Palmer's been able still when that's coming to, to get those yards, and he couldn't there. And now Southwest is going to try and really, really put this thing in a tenuous position for South Sioux City still in the second quarter. 3.54 remaining, as you see there, and a very short field once again for the Silverhawks. Manning in trouble. And no harm, no foul, just an incomplete pass. I see uh, Curiel was in there pressuring uh, Southwest, so good to see that he's okay after whatever banged him up here a couple of plays ago. And we mentioned the fact South Sioux City a lot lower on the numbers on the fringes of going between B and A. Last year was the first year they jumped up to A. Injuries hit harder for those teams with less depth. 100%. Yep. Without a doubt. Novasad across the 20 still going. He's having a great game tonight. Yeah, really nice footwork there. That was uh, uh, just a little. He slowed down. Slowed down, and it was just pure footwork here at the end of the run, and you'll see it here when he gets down to about the 25. And all right, boom, right there. Put on another five, six yards to that run there. This looks really impressive tonight, has no facade. And I'm trying to do some quick math, but he's very near the century mark as he picks up one there on his ninth carry. A little running back on running back violence there as Palmer was the one who took him down. And Southwest is probably going to try and take as much of this clock as they can as they go into the end zone. 2.56 counting down right now. Cardinals still have one timeout left. This time Manning will keep it. Hits his receiver on the cross and barreling into the end zones, Jackson Crawford, a 15 yard strike. I was looking at that right side of the field and I was like, that guy's covered, that guy's covered. And then you'll see it on this replay here. Jackson Crawford just comes streaking in. Covered, covered and boom. Just a little drag route there in the middle of the field. Crawford showing some good speed, and he gets the uh, the touchdown. Manning with a nice pass there. Southwest really putting it on South Sioux City now. Things changed quickly after South Sioux City tied it midway through the first. It's been all Lincoln Southwest since. 37-7 here in Seacrest. After 77 years of serving Lincoln, what else is there to say other than thank you for making our family-owned business part of your family? Save on new appliances for your home during Schaefer's 77th anniversary event. Get free local delivery and up to 36 months interest-free on 
and the new energy efficient Whirlpool, Maytag, and KitchenAid appliances you've been wanting. Schaefer's, your local, family owned tradition for 77 years. So this yellow jacket, it basically symbolizes that it's showtime. The yellow jackets are a throwback to Monday Night Football. The 1970s, Keith Jackson, Howard Cassell. That was the big broadcast in the country. Now we're the big broadcast in Nebraska. When News Channel Nebraska is covering a game, we want you to know that we take it seriously. We want to dress sharp. We have pride in what we do. And we're going to wear those yellow jackets to show people that we're a little old school, but we're also the important broadcast for the night. All Lincoln Southwest, 2.36 before halftime. And everything is going right for the Silverhawks. Brandon Axmit, Jack Mitchell, Josh Lill with you. High School Sports here in Lincoln, proudly presented by Liberty First Credit Union. Banking with purpose. Find out more at libertyfirstcu.com. Nothing there on the return. Short kick from the Silverhawks as South Sioux City will start near the 32. All right, they got 233 left, one timeout. Obviously want to try and still get on the board here before halftime is over, get a little momentum going into uh, going into halftime. And, you know, it's just, it's kind of been mistakes for the South Sioux City offense. When, when they haven't been making mistakes with snaps or turnovers, fumbles, those, those sorts of things, they've moved tonight. They've not just been like overwhelmed by the Southwest defense, but it's just kind of shooting yourself in the foot so far for South Sioux City. And coming into tonight, that was really the theme for the Silverhawks that coach Grant Trainowitz said, we need to stop doing as the Cardinals going up oh. top again. A flag does come in late. But that was Ort Ortiz again. Getting, getting behind the defense. And Southeast is not keeping, for, or excuse me, Southwest for the most part. It's not kind of keeping that over-the-top safety center fielder. Ortiz, once again, he's behind three guys there. Looks like they're going to call the interference, but you put that in front of him a little bit, that's a touchdown. Penalty is against the Silverhawks, so it will be a first down here for South Sioux City with 2.27 to go. Helms evades the rush. The Silverhawk defense keeping him contained. That was Jamari Williams. Uh, ushering him out of play. Yeah. Uh, uh, Helms of that, he, uh, nice elusiveness there just at the beginning, but had to do it three, four times, and at that point ended up having to having to kind of go toward the sideline and ran out of room at that point. Does stop the clock, so second and 12 now. I wonder if they take another shot for Ortiz. He's just, he really has been able to get get back behind the defense keep Palmer back to block for him. Palmer's a good run blocker from what I've seen tonight too. See if they try and do that again here. Cause again, you can see there's not gonna be a lot of safety help over here. Well, there's room for Palmer there. There we go. And he's goes down right at the first yard marker. Enough for a first. Clock running here, just getting to Two minutes. See how much South Sioux City might kind of pick up the pace here. Run another 25 seconds off the clock here. Oh, and boy. Helms taken down. Ashton Trout on your Beatrice Community Hospital instant replay. Southwest has been aggressive with those blitzes a couple of times tonight. You saw the same thing there. Great play by Trout. I mean, 
looked like he was shot out of a cannon into that backfield. Got a good wrap up on a guy who's who's bigger than him, brought him down. And now clock is an issue, down a distance is an issue for South Sioux City. And we are now under a minute here. Helms going for it all, well ahead of Albertson. You got a flag here down. Yep, defensive holding, so that'll be a first down. I believe that'll be the call defensive holding there. And so with a 16 to go, it's about to be third and 16. That's a big help for South Sioux City. But as I was saying earlier, clock comes into play here. 44 seconds, one timeout left for the cards. So they'll get they'll get the ball here at oh uh, thirty six yard line it looks like. Still not enough for the first down there though, after that penalty. Palmer getting to the edge. Third and short upcoming. A little counter action there. Tried to get the defense going the other direction. Good job by Southwest. Southwest has been solid with her tackling tonight too. All right. So the Cardinals will take that one timeout they had right now before third and two. Give these players a blow for one thing. I mean, they've been out there both sides. Some of them special teams as well. Try and kind of figure out what the strategy here is with 30 seconds still 32 yards to go for the Cardinal offense. Well, we're getting close to halftime. We'd like to remind all of our viewers, if you haven't yet, give us a follow on Twitter at NCN Sports. We tweet out our broadcast schedule, our highlights, player interviews, rankings, all of the above, and we also give shout outs live on the air to new followers. At NCN Sports, halftime coming up. You could get your name shouted out on the air with a follow. If you're a Lincoln viewer, specifically Lincoln Southwest, you're feeling great right now. 30 point advantage for the Silverhawks here on senior night, homecoming, Thursday night. Everything is going the Silverhawks way. Yep, absolutely, uh, absolutely. And again, South Sioux City is gonna go in at halftime and they're gonna say, look, we did not play poorly enough uh, in the in the fundamentals and the things that matter uh, to be down this much, but it was just fumbles, turnovers, snaps, those sorts of things that were killing us. More pressure on Helms. Chucking it up there. Oof. Fourth down coming up. Boy, they, they got a shot on those. I mean, it's just single, it's single man-to-man -man coverage across the board on those deep passes. And it was almost kind of a back shoulder type thing he tried to do there. Where at Ortiz, it was kind of coming back for the ball, but put it a little bit too far laterally for him to get over to it. But I think there are shots to be taken for South Sioux City if they've got time to do it. A lot of time we've seen Helms kind of running forward, throwing while running toward the line of scrimmage. And fourth down now, they got to get two yards or they're going to turn the ball back over to Southwest. And they move the ch chains, Andrew Ortiz finally taken down inside the 10, so the Cardinals may be able to put some points up here. No Got timeouts. Gotta hurry. Spike this here. All right, 10 seconds, eight yard line. Option to throw to Ortiz there is looking good right now. He's played really well, has number 44 there for South Sioux City. So you can't really run it to Palmer now, though. You know, you throw it to him out of the backfield, maybe, but you you go down inbounds, and that's the end of the half. This has got to be an incomplete pass, or it's got to be a touchdown for them, or out of bounds somehow. Here comes the pressure overshooting the receiver, Palmer. Yeah, they just put Palmer out there as a wide receiver, tried to run a slam play, and 
little high. He might have been okay had that been on target. Only took three seconds, though, so same situation here. And it is third and eight, so I assume they're going to be going for it on fourth down, even if you've got another incompletion here. But not only time, but downs affecting their chances at getting six more here. And what a catch. we have a catch. What, what a, a catch. catch. That's, wow. Albertson, his second touchdown reception, and this is as good as it gets. Holy cow. Wow. You've had as, as a, hasn't been a huge passing night necessarily for South Sioux City, but those two passes to Albertson for two touchdowns have been some of the best connections that we've seen out here. Really impressive. With two seconds to go, the Cardinals find the end zone for the second time. PAT is good. We'll take a quick break, 37-14, right before half. Anything for the floor, O Street Carpet has it and more. From little feet to little paws, to updates and overhauls. From soft and cozy to durable and resilient. From something that blends in or something that's different. From DIY to custom install, O Street Carpet can help you with it all. Whatever your needs are for the floor, O Street Carpet has it and more. Some jobs are hard work, but it's often the hardest jobs that are the most important. NPPD, powering our state, empowering your life. When what you do makes a vast impact on the state and its communities, there's nothing better. NPPD, powering our state, empowering your life. So South Sioux City does take some momentum into halftime. A final kick here before it's officially the end of the second quarter, but Helms to Albertson for the second time. As the Silverhawks will try to return this one and look out. Landon Kelly says we can still get on the board. <laughs> Not quite. Good effort, though. It's, uh, some yards in the stat book, and that's all it's going to be because it's all zeros on the clock. 37-14 at the break. Lincoln Southwest rolling here at Seacrest Field. Stay with us. Our halftime show is coming up next on News Channel Nebraska. For over 40 years, Claybaugh Pharmacy has been your trusted, family-owned, full-service pharmacy. We provide traditional medical options, medical equipment, immunizations, and over-the-counter products. We take pride in going above and beyond to improve the health of our community. And to ensure you have a seamless experience, manage your profile and refills with a touch of the finger from home. Claybaugh Pharmacy in downtown Beatrice, your hometown family-owned pharmacy. You're watching Doan Tigers football on News Channel Nebraska. The pregame show is brought to you by Ken's You Say Pharmacy in Crete. Woodhouse brings you the experts and insight to keep your vehicle road ready. From regular maintenance to larger issues, our team of service advisors and brand certified techs have the solutions to get you and your vehicle back on the road. Plus, you can enjoy convenience of scheduling online, amenities like pickup and delivery, and for quick fixes, comfortable lounges within our dealerships. Bringing you more every time since 1975. Service with Woodhouse. At first I was really nervous and intimidated to buy a ring. My experience at Starter Hamel was very easy. I felt like I walked out with the ring that was gonna make her go wow and say yes. I love my ring. It is so beautiful. I get compliments on it all the time. I always tell them Starter Heyman. I love it. Yeah, we would definitely recommend Soccer Heyman. We're definitely, definitely coming, coming back. back. <laughs> sure. We have a wedding band to buy. So. We do, yes, we have a wedding <laughs> band, so we'll be back for that. Sarder Heyman Jewelers, downtown 12th and 0, South Point Pavilions, and Grand Island. 
NCN Sports is brought to you by Currency. Visit GoCurrency.com for details. By Central Nebraska Orthopedics, dedicated to the motion of life. And by Region 4 Behavioral Health, quality mental health and substance abuse services. Women have a 1 in 8 chance for developing breast cancer. Early detection makes a difference. Beatrice Community Hospital's Imaging Center can help with the latest technology. From screening with 3D mammography, breast MRI, breast ultrasound, and breast biopsy. All services conveniently located in the BCH's Imaging Center. Schedule your screening today. Incredible care, incredibly close. So this yellow jacket, it basically symbolizes that it's showtime. The yellow jackets are a throwback to Monday Night Football. The 1970s, Keith Jackson, Howard Cassell. That was the big broadcast in the country. Now we're the big broadcast in Nebraska. When News Channel Nebraska is covering a game, we want you to know that we take it seriously. We want to dress sharp. We have pride in what we do. And we're going to wear those yellow jackets to show people that we're a little old school, but we're also the important broadcast for the night. The Halftime Report on NCN is sponsored by Columbus Community Hospital, where your health matters. Inside your home can be two to five times more polluted than outside air. John Henry's priority is keeping your home safe and healthy for you and your family. Cleaning your home's air duct system is an important part of that goal. Our service professionals will clean your air ducts using top of the line equipment that pulls air in reverse through the duct system while using compressed air and agitation tools to remove unwanted particles. Once the air is discharged, it runs through three stages of filtration, leaving your air duct system restored and functioning cleaner than ever. Contact John Henry's today and schedule your steps to a healthier home. NCN Sports is brought to you by Schaefer's. We're more than just TVs and appliances. And by News Channel Nebraska. Follow us on X at NCN Sports for highlights, interviews, rankings, and more. Champions are crowned each year in Lincoln. All of us at Visit Lincoln welcome the athletes, families, and fans from across Nebraska to our community. When the final whistle blows and the game ends, make sure to discover how Lincoln can make your stay even more memorable. Stop by the Visitor Center at 7th and P in the Haymarket or visit us on the web at lincoln.org. Visit Lincoln is a proud supporter of high school athletics. At Zollner Ford, come and see our great selection of new Ford vehicles. Whether you're looking to buy new or you need a car serviced, it's our pleasure to assist you. Our online website makes shopping even easier. Browse our massive inventory of vehicles or schedule your next maintenance appointment. We even offer drop-off and pickup services. Stop by today or visit us online at zollnerofbeatrice.com. Fuel your journey by starting at a Speedy Mart store near you. From the small communities in Nebraska to the larger cities, the staff at Speedy Marts are ready to serve you with food, fuel, and rewards. Save five cents per gallon with the Fuel Your Journey fill up plus additional bonus savings. Download the app for mobile pay, offering customers the highest quality branded food and treats, fresh, ready, and convenient. Check out speedymart.com for locations and job opportunities. I spoke with Lincoln Southwest's head coach, Grant Trainowitz, as he went to the locker room with his team, and he noted he's very pleased with the offense's performance, but he would love to see the defense tighten up in coverage. As for quarterback Ryan Manning, who was back up earlier this week, then named starter due to the injury of their starting quarterback, you know what? He's been per performing pretty well, but head coach Trainowitz would love for him to get the ball out quicker and complete those passes faster. Brandon, back to you for the highlights. Thank you, Josh, and 
You heard him. Let's go right into our halftime highlights that are brought to you by Sarder Heyman Jewelers. Stunning engagement collections, exceptional diamonds, and dazzling gemstones can be found at their Lincoln and Grand Island locations. Sarder Heyman Jewelers. So this is how things got started off. A three and out for South Sioux City. Opening drive following the first for Lincoln Southwest, capped off by a Thomas Worcester one-yard touchdown run midway through the first. Made it 7-0 Silverhawks. South Sioux City, though, they would respond on the next drive. We've talked about the Helms-Albertson connection. Here's the first of the night. This one from 25 yards makes it 7-7. 3.13 to go in the first, but Jack, after this point, it was a lot of Lincoln Southwest. Yep, that, this, uh, and we're going to see it here, I believe. This was the, uh, this is a play I haven't seen a highlight. Watch the uh, run over play here. Boom. And then to the house there for Navasad. 62 yards for what we were told was the elusive Silverhawk running back. He displayed the power there. That made it 14-7. Silverhawks, and then to start the second quarter, a high snap on the punt goes down as a safety. That makes it 16-7 Lincoln Southwest. And they get the ball back because of the safety. They get the ball kicked to, and they would score some more. Novasad, this time from four yards, punches it in for the second time, just like that. It's 23-7. Over about a four and a half minute span, the Silverhawks put up 20 plus points it would end up being a chance for South Sioux City until the pick six. And this is a Finn McGovern, 80 plus yarder, 37 at this point, 32 7, I should say. Silverhawks rolling. Yep, Finn McGovern jumped the route, pressure there on that play on Helms, and just not a good decision there on the pass. And Southwest really had it rolling here at this point. And now the backup quarterback, Ryan Manning. Touchdown pass number one of the night. Jackson Crawford, Crossford, yep, on that crossing route. It was a 15-yard score. 37-7 to seven with under three minutes to play in the half. Credit South Sioux City, though. They get on the board with two seconds to spare and an amazing catch, again, by Albertson from Helms. Really pretty. Two touchdown passes for South Sioux City. They were very pretty, but the scoreboard does not look very pretty for them right now, as you can see right here on News Channel Nebraska. Stay with us, 10 plus minutes remaining in this homecoming halftime show at Seacrest Field. You're watching Thursday Night Football on News Channel Nebraska. Driving by on the highway, you'd never guess what this store holds. When you walk in, rest assured this small town vet supply store has big city selection. There's a good chance if what you're looking for isn't in the back, they can order it for you. Luckily, you'll get the small town friendly service and knowledgeable sales staff every step of the way. From vaccine help to renting a tux for your son's wedding. See the staff at Valley Vet Supply on Highway 36 in Marysville. Valley Vet Supply. Let your next adventure take flight in Sarpy County, Nebraska for some high flying fun. Legendary family adventures out of this world shopping, star-studded evenings, and award-winning experiences. Our flights are never canceled. Stay, play, and plan your getaway at GoSarpy.com. NCN Sports is brought to you by Western Oil, your first and last stop to and from the game, by USA Pharmacy, dedicated to the well-being of all our customers, and by Zollner Ford Lincoln, proud to be your local Ford and Lincoln dealer. For over 40 years, Claybaugh Pharmacy has been your trusted, family-owned, full-service pharmacy. We provide traditional medical options, medical equipment, immunizations, and over-the-counter products. We take pride in going above and beyond to improve the health of our community. And to ensure you have a seamless experience, manage your profile and refills with a touch of the finger from home. Claybaugh Pharmacy in downtown Beatrice, your hometown family-owned pharmacy. Does your business need quick, competitive financing for heavy machinery, trucks, or other equipment? Currency is here to help. 
Whether you're financing construction equipment, farm equipment, trucks, trailers, or any other big ticket item, Currency will automatically find the best rates. Currency facilitates loans for up to $500,000 with repayment terms up to 72 months. It's fast, easy, and free to use. Visit GoCurrency.com and apply today. NCN Sports is sponsored by Husker Rehab, treating the cause of the pain, not just the symptoms. Columbus Motor Company, where you'll find one low price, plain and simple, always. And by Claybaugh Pharmacy, your locally owned hometown pharmacy. It's the season. The excitement of going to sporting events, sitting in the bleachers, rooting for the neighbor kid that mowed your lawn, delivered papers, or played a few pranks in the neighborhood. The first stop, of course, though, is your local Speedy Mart convenience store. Fuel for the journey. Speedy Mart, your area store with Nebraska roots and community ties. No matter if it's a win or a loss, Speedy Mart can make you feel better before or after the game. A new year. A fresh start. A resolution to grow more, gain more, give more. The process is the same, plant, grow, harvest. But the way you do it is always evolving. And so are we, Aurora Cooperative. Grow, gain, give. Aurora and you. After 77 years of serving Lincoln, What else is there to say other than thank you for making our family-owned business part of your family? Everyday life and style are what LG appliances are designed for. During Schaefer's 77th anniversary, you can take advantage of LG rebates, free local delivery, and up to 36 months interest-free financing to improve your family's lifestyle with LG. Schaefer's, your local family-owned tradition for 77 years. What does farming mean to you? For most, it's hard work, dedication, and livelihood. Unfortunately, that also comes with risk. At Nebraska Crop Insurance in Beatrice, they know the nonstop dedication involved to keep your family protected from that risk and ensure their livelihood. Not only do they know everything about the coverage you need, they're also farmers themselves. So protect what means the most to you with the agent who knows what it means to be a farmer. Nebraska Crop Insurance, 615 Dorsey Street in Beatrice. Woodhouse brings you the experts and insight to keep your vehicle road ready. From regular maintenance to larger issues, our team of service advisors and brand certified techs have the solutions to get you and your vehicle back on the road. Plus, you can enjoy convenience of scheduling online, amenities like pickup and delivery, and for quick fixes, comfortable lounges within our dealerships. Bringing you more every time since 1975. Service with Woodhouse. At Nebraska Orthopedic Center, they provide comprehensive orthopedic health care. Their physicians are highly skilled in all areas of orthopedic and sports medicine, including spine surgery, foot and ankle, hand and upper extremities, fracture care, and total joint replacement. Their expertise includes the medical management of injuries through physical and rehabilitative methods or surgical intervention. To schedule an appointment or to learn more about Nebraska Orthopedic Center and their family of 25 physicians, go online to NebraskaOrtho.com. That's NebraskaOrtho.com. Nebraska Orthopedic Center is your healing destination. NCN Sports is brought to you by Currency. Visit GoCurrency.com for details. By Central Nebraska Orthopedics, dedicated to the motion of life. And by Region 4 Behavioral Health, quality mental health and substance abuse services. I had the chance to speak with South Sioux City's Jackson Dickerson. He noted that in the first half, the offense did a good job of executing, but turnovers and penalties have not allowed them to put together complete drives. Plain and simple, he said, we're playing sloppy at times. Defensively, it's about assignment football. If one guy does not do his job, then all 11 guys, it hurts them on the defensive end. They all need to be working in conjunction for them to have an opportunity to get back into this one. Brandon. Back to you for rankings. Thank you, Josh, and a lot of work to do for South Sioux City. Four minutes left on the clock. We imagine they'll add, they'll add three more after those four seconds wind down here at halftime. So about seven minutes 
before we get to third quarter action. And now's a great time to look at our NCN Sports Now rankings. They come out every Monday at noon, compiled by our team of sports announcers. And so after six weeks, West Side remaining undefeated. Millard South, who we saw over Lincoln East with that turned out to be an impressive and comfortable win for the Patriots. And then Kearney remains unbeaten. A close one in Grand Island, but they edge their rivals 10-7. So those three remaining at the top in Class A. Yeah, without a doubt. And it's I still, obviously, Omaha Westside and Millard South have looked like the class of Class A right now. Carney escaped as you guys had the call last Friday night with a close win over Grand Island. Uh, they've also got another couple of ranked wins as well in there. And then you kind of have a whole bunch of teams that are in a kind of a group, I think, honestly, from from Carney all the way down to 10. I feel like all of them could probably be interchangeable in, in a little bit. We've seen Lincoln East in person. You saw Grand Island in person. Uh, Gretna is now 5-1, and one, so we'll be interesting to see how this thing shakes out beyond Omaha Westside and Millard South. Again, we tweet out our rankings on Twitter at NCN Sports. You can catch them as well as all other sports content throughout the week by following us at NCN Sports. We'll take another break here. Extended halftime in Seacrest Field, but we're not far away from third quarter action here on NCN. Does your business need quick, competitive financing for heavy machinery, trucks, or other equipment? Currency is here to help. Whether you're financing construction equipment, farm equipment, trucks, trailers, or any other big ticket item, Currency will automatically find the best rates. Currency facilitates loans for up to $500,000 with repayment terms up to 72 months. It's fast, easy, and free to use. Visit GoCurrency.com and apply today. At Zollner Ford, come and see our great selection of new Ford vehicles. Whether you're looking to buy new or you need a car serviced, it's our pleasure to assist you. Our online website makes shopping even easier. Browse our massive inventory of vehicles or schedule your next maintenance appointment. We even offer drop-off and pickup services. Stop by today or visit us online at zollnerofbeatrice.com. The Halftime Report on NCN is sponsored by Columbus Community Hospital, where your health matters. So this yellow jacket, it basically symbolizes that it's showtime. The yellow jackets are a throwback to Monday Night Football. The 1970s, Keith Jackson, Howard Cassell. That was the big broadcast in the country. Now we're the big broadcast in Nebraska. When News Channel Nebraska is covering a game, we want you to know that we take it seriously. We want to dress sharp. We have pride in what we do. And we're going to wear those yellow jackets to show people. And we're a little old school, but we're also the important broadcast for the night. Anything for the floor, O Street Carpet has it and more. From little feet to little paws to updates and overhauls. From soft and cozy to durable and resilient. From something that blends in or something that's different. From DIY to custom install, O Street Carpet can help you with it all. Whatever your needs are for the floor, O Street Carpet has it and more. <laughs> that is literally the funniest thing ever. And then I said, <laughs> it wasn't, but this guy could use a win. Even if it's not as big of a win as I get with free Casasa Cash checking. Casasa Cash pays me a really high rate and refunds ATM withdrawal fees nationwide. So I feel like a queen. Has a mega bank ever made you feel that way? Or is it more like this guy? Take back banking with Casasa Cash. Get Casasa checking at Liberty First Credit Union. NCN Sports is brought to you by Schaefer's. We're more than just TVs and appliances. And by News Channel Nebraska. Follow us on X at NCN Sports for highlights, interviews, rankings, and more. At Zollner Ford, come and see our great selection of new Ford vehicles. 
Whether you're looking to buy new or you need a car serviced, it's our pleasure to assist you. Our online website makes shopping even easier. Browse our massive inventory of vehicles or schedule your next maintenance appointment. We even offer drop-off and pickup services. Stop by today or visit us online at zollnerofbeatrice.com. Does your business need quick, competitive financing for heavy machinery, trucks, or other equipment? Currency is here to help. Whether you're financing construction equipment, farm equipment, trucks, trailers, or any other big ticket item, Currency will automatically find the best rates. Currency facilitates loans for up to $500,000 with repayment terms up to 72 months. It's fast, easy, and free to use. Visit GoCurrency.com and apply today. Fuel your journey by starting at a Speedy Mart store near you. From the small communities in Nebraska to the larger cities, the staff at Speedy Marts are ready to serve you with food, fuel, and rewards. Save five cents per gallon with the Fuel Your Journey fill up plus additional bonus savings. Download the app for mobile pay, offering customers the highest quality branded food and treats, fresh, ready, and convenient. Check out SpeedyMart.com for locations and job opportunities. Welcome back here to Seacrest Field. Homecoming night and extended halftime about to conclude. Third quarter action about to get underway. 37-14 Lincoln Southwest over South Sioux City. The Silverhawks will get the ball to start the third quarter. Jack, what are you thinking we'll see here in this second half? Well, I think we're probably going to continue to see uh, a whole lot of uh, Novasad, who, Tanner Novasad, who really has looked good tonight because Southwest is going to want to Take time off that clock, and and Nova Sad's had a, a just he's been been tough to bring down, tough to get a hold of tonight, tough to not be run over by tonight, and I think you're going to see a whole lot of uh, him here in the second half as long as the starters are in at this point. But yeah, that's that's kind of what I'd expect here, and you know I don't think they're going to have Manning throwing the ball a whole lot, throw a whole ball, throw the ball deep a whole lot. You're going to look at taking some time off the clock, getting that running game going and keeping control of the ball. Novasad, 10 carries, 100 yards in change, along with two touchdowns. That's about as good of a first half as you could want on senior night as a senior. Yeah, absolutely, he's looked great. He's looked great, and I think he's gonna have a lot more opportunities to really turn this into a great night as a senior. Glad you're with us. Thursday night football on News Channel Nebraska. Third quarter officially underway here in Lincoln. And a nice return to get things started by Landon Kelly. Start out with good field position here for the Silverhawks at the South Sioux City, right about at the 40. First down to 10 and uh, see Manning take his team out again. And again, you know, he's not, Manning has not been uh, you know, spectacular. He just We've been talking about Novasad. We've been talking about other guys, but you got to give Manning a lot of credit coming in here uh, as, as the backup here and really running this offense efficiently and going to try and continue to do that here as we start the third quarter. Silverhawks go to the air on the first play from scrimmage. Semrad, it's his third reception tonight. That was a good tackle there. We talk about playing two ways. Ortiz is that the the receiver that uh, South Sioux City has tried to find deep a couple of times, has had some success finding behind the Southwest defense, and there he is making, a, I think, a really quality tackle there for South Sioux City. Novasad gets the carry. Third down and one. All right. Big chance here. Big chance here for South Sioux City. Get that ball back. And, I mean, as, as one-sided as it feels right now, if they could get some stops, you know, you could start chipping away a little bit about at, at this thing. It's not something that's completely uh, insurmountable at this point, but the defense has got to get some stops. And right here is the place for that to start if South City is going to do that. And Ovasad right up the gut. Ooh. Big pickup. 
big pickup right down the middle. Exactly what Southwest wanted to see there with Novasad. And, and again, I, I think they're, I, I, I can't imagine they're not going to keep feeding him the ball here throughout the rest of this drive and as long as they keep him in the game in the second half. That's a 15 yard gain for Novasad. Silverhawks now in South Sioux City territory. Bootleg. And Manning has a wide That's open good. receiver. Oh. <laughs> and Trent Buda. Boy. Picks it out of the air for a 37 yard strike. Looked like it was going to be deflected at the last second. I thought second. for the world, uh, I think it was Salzbach who was back there for South Sioux City. Was going to get that, was going to pick that. He had a beat on it. Buda is just, let's see what the heights are there. Sal well, Salzbach, 5'8". Buda 6'2". There you go. That's an important six inches on that play. We mentioned it's homecoming. Buda nominated as part of the homecoming court. A 37-yard catch and touchdown, and it's back to a 30-point advantage for the Silverhawks here early in quarter number three. Stay with us here in Lincoln. You're watching Thursday Night Football on News Channel Nebraska. After 77 years of serving Lincoln, what else is there to say other than thank you for making our family-owned business part of your family? Save on new appliances for your home during Schaefer's 77th anniversary event. Get free local delivery and up to 36 months interest-free on the new energy-efficient Whirlpool, Maytag, and KitchenAid appliances you've been wanting. Schaefer's, your local, family-owned tradition for 77 years. NCN Sports is brought to you by Western Oil, your first and last stop to and from the game, by USAFE Pharmacy, dedicated to the well-being of all our customers, and by Zollner Ford Lincoln, proud to be your local Ford and Lincoln dealer. Welcome back, so the Silverhawks, that extended halftime, Jack, did not cool off or slow down what Lincoln Southwest has been doing tonight. Pretty quick drive again, and uh, Manning, Manning kind of put that one up there for his, his tall receiver and Buddha to go get that, at, and he did exactly that, and we got a 44-14 game right now, and South Sioux City is gonna try and, try and get on the board. It's gotta be a frustrating game again for their offense because it feels like a game where they could have they could have traded punches offensively I think with Southwest but you think of punt over the head right the punt over the head you think of the fumble uh, that uh, that Palmer had you think of that kind of issue too on one of the plays that Helms had when he fumbled and the interception and the pick six I mean my goodness it, like those those mistakes have just really really killed South Sioux City tonight. But the offense itself has moved the ball when they've been turnover, turnover free, essentially. Well, the Cardinals will see what they can do here, starting from their own 20. And that one incomplete. Also, we need to make good on our promise, Jack. We promise shout outs for those who followed us at NCN Sports. So Dane McClary, we appreciate the follow. Keith Hasselquist also giving us a follow at NCN Sports. Joe Buda, I wonder if there's a relation to, hey. to Trent, <laughs> who just made that nice I hope play. I he's watching or at, at least getting it on DVR on his cable system there. There you nice. go. And lastly, Mark Jensen, all giving us follows over halftime at NCN Sports. Very nice. All right, second and ten here. See if South Sioux City is going to try and keep putting it in the air or go back to their main weapon on the ground. And Palmer just running through arm tackles. Third down in about five upcoming. Our third quarter is brought to you thanks to Husker Rehab, treating the cause of the pain and not just the symptoms. Husker Rehab, our third quarter sponsor on NCN. Flag on the play here, still waiting to see exactly what the call is from the officials. All right. So that'll be a first down for South Sioux City instead of 
trying to, to negotiate with the play here on uh, third and five. South Sioux City gets a new set of downs. And here was the scenario I was talking about earlier, Brandon, where it's, you know, it's a it's a one possession game. It's a 28-21 game. You wonder how much they feel like they can just keep pounding Palmer and, and see if he's going to get one. And got to be a little bit more creative here at this point. So they get it to Ortiz there on a little bit of an end around there. Ortiz has been in another bright spot on this offense. Over 65 yards receiving on four receptions. Second down and nine. Palmer gets a couple. Southwest defense seems to be tightening up a little bit more in the middle. Palmer not getting quite the big chunk gains that he was during the during the first half. And now we've got third down again. Let's see if South uh, South Sioux City decides to if they can get the protection. They keep especially if they keep Palmer back in protection. Looks like he's splitting out here. But again, we've got an opportunity to go one on one. And I, I see Ortiz down here in the slot. He's going to have somebody come over and get him one-on-one -on -one here, but, boy, it's got to be at least a little tempting to just put it up for him deep. They'll go short to him. Oh! And that's a rare drop from Ortiz. Brings up fourth down. Had it right there. I mean, that's exactly what they were looking for. I don't know. He had a little way still to go to get the first down, but came out looking like he was going to go hard. Tried to turn and run with it. And it was uh, Buddha there again, who was on the coverage. Southwest get another chance at the ball here. Watch the snap on this punt. Good snap, punt is away. Chance for a big return here. Jackson Carpenter trying to get to the edge and he's pushed out near the 40. Almost broke that one loose. He did. You Doing that whole reverse field thing, he had to give up a lot of yardage and just kind of ran out of room there with the sideline. But now this Southwest offense that has been scoring quickly is going to be back on the field here. 44-14 to 14 lead, and uh, they score here, and we could get into uh, running clock territory here in this game. Well, a reminder then, our coverage tonight is brought to you thanks to United Healthcare, where small towns matter. 30 point advantage for Lincoln Southwest here at Seacrest Field in Lincoln. That's a fumble. That's a live ball. Somebody needs to pick that. Oh! A delayed whistle. I wow. was thinking the same thing you were. It I was close. Man, that was right parallel to where I'm sitting right here. I, I sure as heck thought that one was backwards. And that would have been six for South Sioux City. And they were a little bit slow calling it. Let's see if we can see here. Is 47 and yeah, that's yeah. backwards, I think. Southwest might have got away with one right there. Nice defense here on the front line for South Sioux City. Nowhere nobody, for Novasad. Nobody was rushing to jump on it though at that point, and it you know hard at hard at field level to maybe tell that that was right on the line of being backwards. But somebody scoops that up. That would have been six for South Sioux City had the call mm -hmm. gone the way. <laughs> A lot that had to happen there. That would have been exactly what the doctor ordered for the Cardinals. Yeah. All right, third and twelve. Haven't seen much of Carpenter yet. Maybe we'll see if they try and get the ball to him here on this one. There he is. And it's caught. And shedding the defender, Jack. You are a fortune teller, Jackson Carpenter. 
49 yards for the Silverhawks. And it'd be nice if a million dollars fell down from the sky into our laps right now. I would certainly take that. The Silverhawks, they are rolling. Look at that. Just nice. Nice job by Carpenter. Son of former Husker tight end, Tim Carpenter, by the way. That's a good tidbit. Dad, Dad would be proud there. We hadn't seen a ton of him. He cut, involved in a couple of plays there, but I kind of seemed like he was due, and it was exactly that. Nice cutback. Nice throw there, and a touchdown, and uh, 51 to 14 for Lincoln Southwest. Stay with us here in Lincoln. It's a happy homecoming for the Silverhawks. We'll be back. From the moment something didn't feel quite right, to that ambulance arriving at your door. From the immediate diagnosis, to the surgery that followed, to the long list of lifestyle changes, and that family gathering that everyone always talked about, but for whatever reason kept getting postponed, to the moment you sat back and realized how grateful you are for everything you have. We've been here for you, just around the corner. Columbus Community Hospital. Lincoln Southwest in the driver's seat here. And Jack, as you mentioned, NSAA rules. When you're in the second half and you have a 35 point or more lead, it will be a running clock until the deficit gets less than 35. And so this game could go pretty quickly here. You know, time just to sit back a little bit and, and, and this, take a look at the Southwest team who coming into the game, you looked at the records, and if you only looked at the records in this game, maybe even the results uh, that have happened specifically with the opponent, you'd probably say, well, South Sioux City looks like the favorite on paper going in. Um, and, and, and Southwest just coming off a loss to their rival. That's an emotional game with that Lincoln Southeast loss. You know, this team lost to Columbus. We saw that earlier this year. We saw Columbus uh, play Lincoln East a couple of weeks ago here. This does not look this does not look like a team that has performed like they have so far this year whatsoever. Uh, they got a win against Lincoln High. They got a win against Omaha Bryan here at this point so far. But, you know, they probably would like to have a do-over in, in several of these games that they've lost so far this year. Lost to Columbus. Lost against against Lincoln East, lost against Papillion La Vista, who was here. Lost to Se Papillion La Vista, got beat by Southeast earlier this year. So, good time to gel though for the uh, for the Silverhawks. Especially when you look at who's on the horizon as Helms oh! Oh my put goodness. it in the bread basket of Albertson, and he would have been gone. <laughs> He almost did it a third time with Albertson. I mean, it is just single. This is just mano y mano. Oh, oh no. That was, that might have been an easier catch than his, his touchdown last time around. And for oh, those just tuning in, man. Albertson has had a pair of excellent touchdown catches. Great hands that you're not going to see that often from oh. him. Credit Helms, he just dropped that. He's got a nice kind of touch on his deeper pass. He hasn't been able to do it a lot tonight, but when he has, it's been to Albertson, and it's, uh, well, two of them were touchdowns, and you almost had a third right there. I'd like to see that again. That's carry number 17 for Manning. He picks up four more. Palmer looks like he's limping maybe a little bit out there. And, and again, or you wouldn't blame him if it's just wear and tear. These guys just every play, for so many of these South Sioux City players, we got a penalty flag down. I mean, eventually that plays in when you've got one team who's got the vast majority of their players, you know, what did you say, nine, ten players going both ways. Yep. Southwest has a couple, um, not all of them, though. And I think that starts to come into account here as well. 
And I asked, you know, specifically head coach Jackson Dickerson about that. And he said, you know, yes, it's a thing we have to deal with being a smaller class A school, but we don't talk about it. It's not something we will use as an excuse. You know, going both ways and getting tired in the second half, it's just part of what it means to be a, a member of the South Sioux City program. And you have yeah. to tip your hat to a, a coach who's coaching in that sort of way. Yeah. Yeah, well, it, it, it's it's the reality there. Nice play there uh, by for Lincoln South South. Excuse me, Southwest. Stop Palmer, and I think South Sioux City is going to say, "Hey, well, fourth and two. What the heck? We got a running clock. Let's go for this thing." Palmer just not quite having the room up the middle that he saw during mm -hmm. the beginning of the game when I was commenting on just him kind of plowing ahead for getting six, six, seven yards. The going is not quite as easy right now for him. A little quarterback run here. Well, Helms gets the first down. Gets it. He's going to be hard to take down too. Fifty-one fourteen, your score on the currency scoreboard. If you need financing for RVs, ATVs, or other expensive items, currency is here to help. Visit GoCurrency.com today. I mean, if I'm South Sioux City at this point, especially on first and ten, I think I'm taking another. I think I'm taking another shot downfield. They've been there, and again, you look right now. Take a wide shot. There's nobody beyond. About seven yards behind the line of scrimmage for Southwest here at this point. But you got to have time to do it, and that's the problem there. Sack made by Grayson Smith on the backside. Well worth another look. There's no chance for Helms there. Reminder that coverage is brought to you thanks to Zollner Ford Lincoln of Beatrice as we're now under three minutes running clock here in Lincoln. Second down and long for South Sioux City here. All right, I don't know if I can do it again, but look at Ortiz here. He's got in the slot on the bottom part of your, just in your screen here. And now they're going to run it to Palmer. Great lateral contained there by Southwest again on that play. They've really bottled Palmer up since kind of about halfway through the second quarter right now. And I, I kept thinking Palmer was going to have a, a big run in him, and he very well still may tonight. I don't know how long they're going to keep going with him at this point because that guy's got to be pretty beat up by now. But Southwest is, has done a really good job of shoring up that run defense here. And, given South Sioux City some fits in this second half. And the There's ball a... is out. Recovered by the Cardinals, and it's Palmer who grabbed it. So when it's all said and done, it'll be a big loss in fourth and very long coming up. Refs having a little bit of a discussion here. I think they blew it dead when Palmer grabbed it because he's not allowed to advance that he dropped it again still having a discussion about this whole thing they're moving it way up here was there a flag there what did I, I miss I did not see a flag it's still third down too well, I'm not sure what happened there well, almost as if there was no play. Okay, so it's still third and long. Completion to Ortiz spins away from one defender. So now it's fourth down in about nine. They're going to bring the punt team out now. Eighty-two so. yards for Ortiz on five receptions. Yeah, he's been he's been impressive. It's you know if Helms has had a little bit more time, I think they probably would have been able to go go to him more off. I mean, you got a couple of receivers there for South Sioux City who have actually had 
for a 51-14 game who've had a pretty decent game here. Watch out, out of the way, gets the fair catch. So for Hawks, will start this drive at their own 41. Again, clock continuing to tick with it being more than a 35-point lead for Lincoln Southwest. Yeah, it looks like we'll probably end the quarter here before our play is run. And it will go into the fourth quarter here. Your score, 51-14. It is running. Here on News Channel Nebraska, you're watching Thursday Night Football. We'll be back with fourth quarter action. Life is a wild ride. It's important to have a trusted partner along the way. Liberty First Credit Union exists to provide its members with affordable financial services. Whether it is a large purchase, a new car or home remodel, overcoming obstacles, or chasing your dreams. Financing life is what we do best. Give us a call or visit libertyfirstcu.com. My brother RJ had me believe that he knew exactly what he was taking, but I don't think that during those times he was ever necessarily sober. We lost RJ at 32 to a prescription opioid overdose. Well, folks, you may be wondering why everyone is wearing Hawaiian shirts here at Seacrest Activities Complex. Well, it's Spirit Week in Lincoln Southwest High School, and the theme today was Hawaiian shirts. I spoke with Athletic Director Andrew Sherman, and he's super proud of the Silverhawks tonight, but he's not taking part in dressing up. He did note that Principal John Metzen loves to dress up during Spirit Week, but it's actually Pajama Day that's his favorite. Brandon, back to you. That is top-notch reporting, Josh Little. Andrew Sherman, longtime head coach, Lincoln Southwest, now the athletic director. Can't believe he's not taking part in Hawaiian night. Just waiting waiting for pajama day, maybe. Uh, you know, it, when we had the East game here last week, it was toga day. I don't, I don't think they do that south I think that's very more kind of catered to the Spartan crowd, probably. Well, big game there. I mean, how much, we, whether it's, we've done some basketball games together. You've done a ton of basketball games. We pretty much have some standard ones. We got Jersey night. We got Hawaiian shirt night. We got like business trip where you dress up, right? We got, what am I, what am I? Usually uh, like you, construction where you have the neon vest. Okay, construction. That's we got one. Uh, America. Yep, yep. Uh, sometimes we have like the pink thing, especially in the month of October. Yep, and there we go. There's There's the Hawaiian night, so. A little chill. They should have done Hawaiian night last week. You got some cold-looking kids there. I'm. I just put on my gold, my nice News Channel Nebraska <laughs> gold jacket back on up here because we got the windows open at Seacrest Field. I'm getting cold. So ten and a half now. We do have a new quarterback yeah, in it's Zach Stark, the junior. And holy moly! Right up the middle. There's a 30-yard score for. Ashton Trout. Some real speed there from number two for Lincoln Southwest on a little toss sweep. Good blocking for Southwest. Found the crease, turned it on. And the route is on for Lincoln Southwest. Lincoln Southwest, 57 to 14. Well, if you want to be finding your stride, being Lincoln Southwest, now's a good time to do it. Millard West on the road coming up next, a team that's sitting at number four in our rankings. And that'll be big in what the Silverhawks need to do this season. Yeah, I mean, if, if Southwest wants to, they still still try and squeeze their way into some postseason consideration, going up there and getting an upset against Millard West. Millard West team that beat this South Sioux City team 
couple of weeks back. And then they've got Miller North coming up here to Lincoln. Miller North now kind of a hard luck team. They're one in five is Miller North, but they've had an absolute gauntlet of a schedule so far this year. And so one in five probably does not, re do, you know, you, you're talking about South Sioux City being five and one and maybe not completely representing what they've been through this year. The opposite is true of Miller North with their one and five. So that's how Lincoln South, they're done with the Lincoln teams. Um, and they already had Lincoln High, Lincoln East, and Lincoln Southeast. So they'll be finishing out here and seeing if they can make a, a late push for the postseason here. Meanwhile, South Sioux City uh, is going to have also that same Miller North team we were just talking about coming to South Sioux next week. So glad you're with us here on NCN Thursday Night Football. As is customary, we have a lot coming up for you tomorrow. In fact, we have a doubleheader, network-wide doubleheader on NCN because we have an afternoon broadcast, Jack. You nice. know, there's, there's a, another game outside of high school that's being played in Nebraska, and that's the Huskers. And so some teams move their game up to, you know, to not mess with that. So we'll be in Tilden. Lutheran High Northeast playing Ilkhorn Valley. That's the afternoon game that got moved up because of the Husker game. Then we'll have Crete hosting Beatrice. No, Beatrice hosting Crete, rather, as the nightcap. But, you know, that whole interesting aspect of the Big Ten and yes. Friday night games and high school and what do you do. And yep. it's well, an interesting thing to talk about. I'll tell you this. My senior year here on this field playing for Lincoln East, our first game was on a Thursday night, uh, and it was against – Omaha Bryan and Nebraska football also played that Thursday night the same time against Oklahoma State in 1995 and now we didn't have phones then we didn't have my uh, what I did was I set my VCR for my football player friends and me to go back to my house order some pizza and watch the game and the PA announcer kept announcing the score of the Nebraska game and we did not want to find out now luckily it was always given that it was a 1995 team Lawrence Phillips was running wild in that game. It was always good news. But I was sitting down there right on that sideline closing my ears because I wanted to go have, uh, go have my party with watching the game on VHS after the, after, uh, the uh, East single win of 1995, the only one we got that year. As we got a player down here for South Sioux City. We'll take a quick break. 9.05 remaining here in Lincoln. NCN Sports is sponsored by Husker Rehab, treating the cause of the pain, not just the symptoms. Columbus Motor Company, where you'll find one low price, plain and simple, always. And by Claybaugh Pharmacy, your locally owned hometown pharmacy. Does your business need quick, competitive financing for heavy machinery, trucks, or other equipment? Currency is here to help. Whether you're financing construction equipment, farm equipment, trucks, trailers, or any other big ticket item, Currency will automatically find the best rates. Currency facilitates loans for up to $500,000 with repayment terms up to 72 months. It's fast, easy, and free to use. Visit GoCurrency.com and apply today. And welcome back. Fourth quarter here is brought to you by Visit Lincoln, our fourth quarter sponsor. See and experience all that Lincoln has to offer. Discover more at lincoln.org. Again, a running clock. South Sioux City with the ball. There's a completion to Ortiz. Oh. And he's still going. He's gone. That's some speed, man. Whoo. 76 yards. This young man is having quite the game. That's what I'm saying. You got a couple of wide receivers for South Sioux City again for a 58 to 20, maybe 21 game that are having a great night. Third touch touchdown pass for DJ Helms. First reception for a touchdown for Andrew Ortiz. You got the leading. It's, it's kind of hard. You've got the leading rusher in Class A. But tonight, at this point, the, the, the deep passing game has looked as good for anything. That wasn't necessarily a particularly deep throw, but the passing game, when you've gone downfield, has looked pretty good for South Sioux City tonight. This is uh, the least running running clock I've ever seen in my life. 
And the clock will remain not running for the time being. 58-21 South Sioux City still fighting here in Lincoln. We'll be back. It's the season. The excitement of going to sporting events, sitting in the bleachers, rooting for the neighbor kid that mowed your lawn, delivered papers, or played a few pranks in the neighborhood. The first stop, of course, though, is your local Speedy Mart convenience store. Fuel for the journey. Speedy Mart, your area store with Nebraska roots and community ties. No matter if it's a win or a loss, Speedy Mart can make you feel better before or after the game. Some jobs are hard work, but it's often the hardest jobs that are the most important. NPPD, powering our state, empowering your life. When what you do makes a vast impact on the state and its communities, there's nothing better. NPPD, powering our state, empowering your life. Welcome back here to Seacrest. Silverhawk return to the 30. 58-21 year score, a reminder that all Lincoln Sports on News Channel Nebraska is proudly presented by Liberty First Credit Union, banking with purpose. Find out more at libertyfirstcu.com. Brandon Axmet, Jack Mitchell, Josh Lill with you. For the remainder of this one in what has been an impressive performance by Lincoln Southwest. And also credit South Sioux City for still playing hard, not giving up here. And uh, you mentioned earlier, Zach Stark now the quarterback in for Lincoln Southwest. Southwest has gone up the ladder from a freshman to a sophomore to a junior. Now as their third quarterback, and there he goes with, with a little run. I bet of all the games you've called, you've never seen uh, that before. We've seen a freshman replaced by a sophomore, replaced by a junior at quarterback. I think you're correct. I'm racking my brain, and there's nothing that springs to mind. Again, this is a, a Southwest team that graduated a lot of senior leadership last year, a team that made it to the second round of the playoffs. And Coach Trainowitz said, you know, we're – we're starting to, to, to implement some young guns. We've kind of changed up the offense a little, little bit to better fit our personnel. And they're starting to hit their stride Ooh. here in week seven. <laughs> Zach Stark says, if I'm going to be in, and I'm going to hit somebody. Hey, I got these young guys who are pushing me in practice. I got a chance to show it here at this point because I got another year with them next year. Running over defenders, what? dragging them. That was an impressive run for Stark. We're now under seven to play. You know, you talk about the youth. We saw we saw a team last week with uh, a lot of youth. Stark is going to run it again. He's got a big hole. Flag, that one's coming back. Yeah. Ortiz finally brings him down, but as you mentioned, a flag way back near the line of scrimmage. You know, we saw Millard South last week play against Lincoln East, and that's team filled with sophomores. Lincoln Southwest, these are, I mean, Miller South is already doing it this year, but Lincoln Southwest, is, I think, is a bright future here. A little bit of a, a down year so far, and it's not a lost cause by any means yet. But uh, you, with, with the youth, you got a freshman starting at quarterback. Uh, you've got uh, you got Nova Sad that you're going to lose this year. He's a senior, but you got a lot of other youth that has been playing and, and looking really good here tonight for Southwest. Well, be sure to stay tuned for our coaches' post-game interview. Josh will be talking to head coach Trainowitz about the big victory. It's brought to you by Sarpy County Tourism. Stay, play, and plan your getaway at GoSarpy.com. Another glad to see Southwest still has that fullback play in there. You like to see that every once in a while out of the old, old school I formation. Well, again, clock continuing to tick. We're under six. We mentioned, you know, high school football, Huskers playing tomorrow. What can you fill us in, Jack, on your thoughts, predictions, Nebraska, Illinois, you know, Friday I, night? It, it's hard. It, we need to see Nebraska win one of these games, win one a, a, a game like this on the road and one that feels like kind of a 50-50 game. 
But I, I understand in the fan base why there's a lot of skepticism about that right now. And Nebraska's really got an opportunity now. you got a four-game period with this game at Illinois. By week then, some time to rest up, get healthy. you got Northwestern and Purdue coming in the next two weeks, and then you go to Michigan State. And you hesitate at this point to say anything is a winnable game or you're predicting them, but those are all games that I think fans probably feel like could go either way. 4-0 and is on the table. 1-3, and 0-4 oh is probably on the table as well. And if you get on the right side of that, you get 3-1 and one or 4-0 and oh in those two games. This season all of a sudden feels a lot different going into its last three games. Um, if it goes the other direction, yeah. I think we know what it's going to be like around here. I was going to say, I saw the tweet, your, your, your panic meter or whatever. There was a description based on yes. the record for those four games. Yes. 4-0 uh, and was, uh, if they go 4-0, and well, they'll be bull eligible. We've got another fullback run there for Southwest. Uh, and uh, you, you'll be 4-0. and You would be, yeah, bull eligible. And I guess in the mix of the West race at that point, if you go 4-0, uh, Wisconsin is looking good, but there's – you know, no team that's really jumping up and grabbing it out of the West. If you go 3-1, and one, I think things still feel pretty good. you got some work still to do to get to a bowl game, but three games remaining. Uh, but if you can do that, I think that'll still be something that will the fans will generally feel pretty good about. Um, if it's 2-2, two and two, um, yeah, then I can't remember what I said was 2-2. Two and 1-3 two. and three I said was, hello, Keisei Tominaga. Looking at basketball yep, season, yep. and if it's 0-4, I said fan Armageddon. So Yes. That's hopeful we, we stay away from fan Armageddon. No fan Armageddon. No, you know, dystopian wasteland. Yes. We, we, yes. Let's keep exactly. all that. Just please. I think we're all, we all just yeah. want. And, you know, uh, we got, I know uh, some of you may be flipping back and forth between the uh, Bears playing the Washington Commanders tonight. Uh Illinois playing tomorrow, too. News came out this afternoon that Dick Puck Butkus passed away, one of the all-time great defensive players in the NFL and former Bear, former uh, Fighting Illini. There's probably going to be a lot of Dick Butkus talk tomorrow night uh, when Nebraska takes on Illinois in Champaign. Nearing the three-minute mark here as this contest is ramping up. The Silverhawks will improve to three and four. South Sioux City will just be handed their second loss on the season. And again, hard to believe that we're seven weeks in. It really is. I heard you say that while we were standing <laughs> on the field doing our stand-up at the beginning of the show, and I thought, really? Is that is that number right? Here we are already with uh, two regular season games in Class A, at least, until you're you're at the playoffs and be starting in, in some of the lower classes even sooner than that with postseason play. Yep, Class D, the eight-man, will start a week early. Then you go into postseason. Three weeks of that for a traditional 11-man. Then there will be the six-man state championship in Kearney, which we'll be televising the Friday before that Monday, Tuesday in Lincoln. Yeah. In mid-November. And you talk about this Class A race. The interesting thing is that those top two teams, Millard South and Bellevue, or excuse me, and Omaha West Side, we had talked about, they face off in the regular season still yep. during the course of this season. Not this week, but yeah, next week. Yeah, next eight. week. And, and it's kind of like, wow. You know, that could be a championship preview. We'll see. You know, a lot can still happen. Bellevue West is looking better now, I think, now. Um, you've got, you've got of course, uh, Elkhorn South. They started out a little bit slow here this year. Kearney, who knows? Maybe Kearney is able to come up and take on some of these Omaha teams as well. You saw them again last week. But those two top teams, one of them is going to get knocked down by the other. Could be a championship preview there. Well, clock continuing to tick. We'll see. My math serves me one, maybe two more snaps to get this thing down to zeros, but an impressive victory here for Lincoln Southwest. Yeah, I'll be interested in seeing, seeing what that Millard West game looks like coming up. Next. Millard West has been solid this year, really solid. In fact, South Sioux City lost to them 49-0 to earlier this year, but, you know, you look at the scoreboard and it's kind of a, Similar deficit there if you want to do the uh, comparison with that. But that is nothing but an opportunity here. And now they're actually going to run the ball after taking two knees on third and 14. Maybe realizing that 
Yeah. They will have to, it looks like they will have to snap it on fourth down as there's one difference, one second difference between the game clock and play clock here. Probably just another knee here for Lincoln Southwest. And they'll wrap up a very gratifying win for them on homecoming for the Silverhawks. There we go. It might, it might be in close to getting a penalty here, actually, for delay of game. Nope, they'll get it off. Final snap signifies the victory for Lincoln Southwest, 58-21. Homecoming, senior night. The Silverhawks are now three and four with the victory. South Sioux City drops to five and two. Stay with us here on News Channel Nebraska. Post game show is coming up next. For over 40 years, Claybaugh Pharmacy has been your trusted, family owned, full service pharmacy. We provide traditional medical options, medical equipment, immunizations, and over the counter products. We take pride in going above and beyond to improve the health of our community. And to ensure you have a seamless experience, manage your profile and refills with a touch of the finger from home. Claybaugh Pharmacy in downtown Beatrice, your hometown family owned pharmacy. Woodhouse brings you the experts and insight to keep your vehicle road ready. From regular maintenance to larger issues, our team of service advisors and brand certified techs have the solutions to get you and your vehicle back on the road. Plus, you can enjoy convenience of scheduling online, amenities like pickup and delivery, and for quick fixes, comfortable lounges within our dealerships. Bringing you more every time since 1975. Service with Woodhouse. At first, I was really nervous and intimidated to buy a ring. My experience at Starter Hamel was very easy. I felt like I walked out with the ring that was going to make her go wow and say yes. I love my ring. It is so beautiful. I get compliments on it all the time. I always tell them Starter Heyman. I love it. Yeah, we would definitely recommend Starter Heyman. We're definitely, definitely coming back. back. <laughs> sure. We have a wedding band to buy. So. We do, yes. We have a wedding band, so we'll be back for that. Starter Heyman Jewelers, downtown 12th and O, South Point Pavilions, and Grand Island. NCN Sports is brought to you by Currency. Visit GoCurrency.com for details. By Central Nebraska Orthopedics, dedicated to the motion of life. And by Region 4 Behavioral Health, quality mental health and substance abuse services. Women have a 1 in 8 chance for developing breast cancer. Early detection makes a difference. Beatrice Community Hospital's Imaging Center can help with the latest technology. From screening with 3D mammography, breast MRI, breast ultrasound, and breast biopsy. All services conveniently located in the BCH's Imaging Center. Schedule your screening today. Incredible care, incredibly close. And welcome back here to Seacrest Field. An impressive victory for Lincoln Southwest. 58 to 21, your final. It was a 37-14 game at half, but the Silverhawks continued to roll in the second half. We ended up having a running clock. And Lincoln Southwest on homecoming on senior night gets a big time win heading into the final couple of weeks of the regular season. And you're gonna have happy players, happy coaches, all of the above as Josh Lill is wrangling up Coach Trainowitz as well as our Nebraska Orthopedic Center player of the game. We'll be hearing from them shortly. Again, our coaches post game interviews brought to you by Sarpy County Tourism. Stay, play and plan your getaway at gosarpy.com. We'll also be hearing from our Nebraska Orthopedic Center player of the game. Nebraska Orthopedic Center is your healing destination. Let's go down to the field to Josh. The Lincoln Southwest Silverhawks win in dominant fashion against the South Sioux City Cardinals, 58 to 21. To my right, I have head coach Grant Trainowitz of the Silverhawks. Coach, I mean, you flat out dominated tonight. What area of your team's success really stuck out to you the most? 
Um, yeah, I thought it was a complete team effort tonight. Um, you know, offense did well, sustained drives. Defense came up with big plays when we needed it. Uh, the return game on special teams was good, so just a total team win tonight. Uh, keeping it with your defense, they forced a pick six and a safety. Did they have a little fun playing some offense tonight? Uh, yeah, they did. It, you know, it was the first time we got in the end zone on defense this year, so hopefully we keep that going these next few weeks. What goes into the execution and practice that allows your defense to make those plays? I, you know, it's it's knowing why we do what we do. You know, understanding why we're running certain coverages, the weaknesses, the strengths, and then uh, just staying focused and taking game reps and practice and not taking plays off. How about this guy to my left? Tanner Novoset had a performance nothing short of stellar tonight. How hard does he work each and every day to compete at this level? Well, yeah, he does a great job, and he did exactly what we expected him to do tonight. And, uh, you know, Tanner's a guy who, who sees the field extremely well, and, uh, you know, you better bring more than one guy to tackle him because he's going to make the first guy miss. Coach, congrats on the win, and thank you for your time. Thank you. And Tanner, how about this, 125 yards and two touchdowns. What goes into your prep every day that allows you to compete at such a high level on the football field? Uh, making sure that the guys that don't get to play as much give the best looks on defense for our offense. Make sure that we, uh, we're we ready to go for our game, game plan so we can go out and execute and win. Now, Tanner, a lot of people see you as an elusive runner, but on your 62-yard touchdown run, you trucked the defender. What went through your mind on that play? See the guy in front of me, go hit him. Uh, I mean, I thought I was out of bounds. I saw, I obviously wasn't. I accelerated and took it to the crib. How important is it to you uh, to be such a dual threat running back, to not only run with power, but be elusive as well? Oh, I feel like it, it helps out the offense very well. I mean, if you have a running back that can catch and also be able to run, it, gives you, it basically gives you another wide receiver. So. I don't know. Well, you guys had double duty tonight. Not only was it the homecoming game, but it was senior night as well. What kind of message does, the, does this send to the seniors? And what do you guys look forward to uh, in celebrating your win tonight? Get a good night's sleep, get ready for homecoming night. Hopefully this, this game boosts us to go win two more. Take us to, this, hopefully to state, to playoffs. So, yeah. Well, that was Tanner Novaset of the Lincoln Southwest Silverhawks. Again, the Silverhawks defeat the South Sioux City Cardinals 58 to 21. Back up to Brandon and Jack for postgame. Thank you, Josh. Tanner Novasad. Calm, cool, and collected. After the big time performance, 125 yards, two touchdowns, our Nebraska Orthopedic Center player of the game. Let's wrap things up here by going and checking out our top plays, which are brought to you by Currency, which makes financing quick, easy, and secure for machinery, ag equipment, and more. Visit GoCurrency.com. Thursday night football, homecoming night, senior night for Lincoln Southwest, the 2-4 Silverhawks hosting 5-1 South Sioux City. The Silverhawks would strike first. Opening drive of the game, Thomas Worcester punches it in from one yard out, 7 zip. Lincoln Southwest at the 7-17 mark in the first quarter. They get on the board first, but South Sioux City would get the ball right after that score and answer DJ Helms. 25-yard touchdown pass to Tate Albertson at 3.13 to go in the opening quarter. We're tied 7-7, so teams trading points. We're still in the first. One more score before we got out of the opening 12 minutes. Tanner Novasad. Look out, 62 yards. He's known as a running back who can make defenders miss. There he just decided to run through the defender. 62 yards again to pay dirt, 14-7 Lincoln Southwest, and that would set the tone for really the rest of the game. We're now in the second quarter. Novasad, this time from four yards out, finds the end zone for the second time, making it 23-7 Lincoln Southwest early into the second quarter, and you see there letting everybody know that is his second touchdown. But South Sioux City driving, but the drive abruptly ends. This is an 80-plus yard pick six. Finn McGovern, no one's going to catch him. 30-7 to seven now, Silverhawks, once he finds the end zone, takes it to the house, as they say. This is at the halfway point in quarter number two. Silverhawks are absolutely rolling. But the Cardinals, they answer back. 
Helms, an eight-yard touchdown pass to Albertson. Amazing hands, and the second connection between the two. That was right before the halftime break. So 37-14 at halftime. Here we are in the third quarter, and how about that 37-yard pass? Ryan Manning, the backup quarterback, hits Trent Buda with a great high point. It's 44-14. The Silverhawks laying it on. Manning, this time a 49-yarder to Jackson Carpenter, his first and only catch of the game. It goes for the score. 6.48 to go in the third, and it's all Silverhawks, and we're still rolling. Ashton Trout, now we're in the fourth. He takes it 30 yards to the end zone. 58-14, Lincoln Southwest. South Sioux City, though, credit to the Cardinals not giving up. Helms hitting Andrew Ortiz for the 76-yard touchdown. Ortiz went well over 100 yards receiving on six receptions. It wouldn't be enough for a Cardinal comeback. However, your final score... 58-21, the Silverhawks roll on homecoming night, senior night, everything great for the Silverhawks. They improve to three and four. South Sioux City drops to five and two. And again, those are our currency top plays. That will do it for our coverage here tonight. A reminder that we have a Friday football doubleheader coming up for you tomorrow. We'll be in Tilden at 2.45, eight-man football as Elkhorn Valley hosts Lutheran High Northeast. Eric and Lou will have the call. That's a network-wide game. And then we'll have about an hour break, roughly, when that game ends before we go live from Beatrice. Crete and Beatrice, a Southeast Nebraska rivalry, will be our nightcap of the Friday night doubleheader on NCN. Be sure to tune in for that. And then on Saturday... Depending on where you live, we're bringing you some volleyball action. If you live in the south portion of the state, Centennial Conference third place and championship match doubleheader will be live in Columbus SCOTUS starting at 2.55. If you live in northeast Nebraska, you'll be getting the Wayne State game as the Wildcats 4-1 on the year host Minnesota Duluth. That game will be live starting at 12.50. All of our broadcast schedule and games will be available and are available on newschannelnebraska.com or if you follow us on Twitter, at NCN Sports. Special thanks to our terrific camera crew, as always, producer-director Danny, as well as Tyler Lechner in the truck for Jack Mitchell and Josh Lill. I'm Brandon Axumit. We'll see you tomorrow for that doubleheader.